and I look. You feel me? I got them big bones. Man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's happening, world? Happy Friday, hey, April 1st. The first Friday of April. The fourth month of the year. My favorite number. Why? Because my, my number was four. Uh, yeah, <laughs> FOE. Family over everything. Forever Oakland, East Side. Forever outside. Ain't no Eating. Uh, it's April 1st. We here. Welcome to another episode of Kanye Confessions. And I'm glad nobody tried to prank me with no silly ass jokes because shit's serious this year. Yeah, you know, uh, brought to you by <laughs> BJTV Network, Feral Films, History of the Making Entertainment, Keep It Cloudy Productions. We got a nice show lined up for y'all tonight. Uh, it's been an interesting week as always. I'm going to let everybody introduce themselves, starting with the lovely. <laughs> Um, yeah, Crystal with an H from Sex in Oakland. Unfortunately, my crew is on black people, black, black people time. So, it's just me for right now. That's right. She's here to represent all she the girls with the smooth right. skin. For the Sex in Oakland. <laughs> <laughs> and look at her hair. She got Indian in her family. Oh, my goodness. That could pop uh, gum. My dad is just, uh, he's 50 Italian. times in two I bites. Can't. Mm-hmm. I can't. <laughs> Didn't LL's Cool J speak on them type <laughs> round the way, girl? I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> My man Bart Bees is watching. Bart Beezy, what's up, man? I know you got a big event coming up, my dude, man. Hey, tap in so we can be there, for real. Y'all tap in with Bart Beezy, man. Look at Bart Beezy. That's a good dude right there, man. Yeah. It's all good. Camo. Yo, it's your boy Camouflage. Uh, We here at this Cognac Confessionals. We got uh, the Sex and Oakland girls just here tonight so uh we about to get this thing popping though mm-hmm. y'all y'all look look uh follow me on that instagram y'all already know k a double m um hey what's up y'all it's your boy pharaoh you know what i'm saying coming you know aka pharaoh the most, the most. aka the president of the anti-tricking coalition Hey, I'm a, you know, I'm an author, I'm a filmmaker, and on top of all that, I'm so, so deaf. So, so motherfucking deaf. Uh, so, Crystal with the H. Yes, yes. Love. How are you today? I am good. I'm trying to, you know, bounce back from a hangover. See? You know, out with my coworkers last night. Well, that's what's up with the shades. I thought oh, you just them. had a cool. Yeah, nah. Get I mean, drunk. on top of that, I ain't got no lashes on, so. You got them red and stimpies under there, them blush. Uh, nah, I actually, I actually have, you know, like nothing's really wrong. I just prefer to always have on eyelashes, so. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, no, so uh, other than that, I've been chilling. That's what's up. So Looking this, at this craziness on Instagram. Oh, yeah. It's just a lot going on. But this is your second time here. And mm-hmm. I'm happily grateful that you're here. You know, you got your Sex in Oakland podcast coming with your, your podcast mates. Yep. Hopefully they'll be here or not. But it's, it's great that you're here. Yeah. Um, I've I've watched, I think, every episode. I've tuned in live while y'all doing your thing. I mean, it's a great yeah. show. I, I, you know, I'm always the show being there, talking your stuff and supporting. <laughs> yeah, you know me. I'm, you know, I'm cognac drinker, deep right. thought thinker. You know, I mean, uh, y'all have I'm interesting good. topics. You know, it's a great show. Um, Thank you for the people who might be tuning in for the first time, seeing you here. Tell them about your show and your sisters and what y'all got going on. Um, so it's an all women podcast. Um, we basically, I mean, they're kind of self explanatory. Sex in Oakland. It's nothing but sex and relationships, anything under the sun. But it's a very like raw, uncut podcast. Like we kind of really say how we feel. And being that there's four women, yes. um, Miss Ninja, Izzy, and Rio, and myself, we all have different opinions on things and. So it kind of flows perfectly, you know. It's a good, good thing. It's not like we're sexist on there or something, you know. We just exactly. like, nah, these niggas, y'all these ain't niggas, y'all, you know. Yeah, y'all ain't on there bashing niggas. Yeah, no, you we know? we damn near are the niggas. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, <laughs> so how they find you, or how do they, how do they follow your podcast? Like, what? so we are on Instagram only. We haven't moved on to Facebook yet, um, but it is at Sex in Oakland. You can follow the page. We go live every Tuesday at um, 7.30, and you know, every now and then we have a special guest. Y'all gotta come on our show one day. 
That's, we down. We gotta get that. We gotta get that together. Oh, we gonna yeah. Let's let's link. We gotta that get up. a spicy topic for y'all though. Okay, we down. Hey, I just started drinking, y'all. But if I fall and slide <laughs> under this table, hey, I'm gonna jog- laugh. Hey, these joggers and these I'm old, this, laugh. With, this I mean, smooth you ass, fall, whatever this homies, velvet you is, I'm, fall I'm, you, you, go. Go. you fall, sure I'm this laughing. shit slipping and slide like a motherfucker. You know, I'm your witness. It ain't it ain't the drag. It's the chair. I'm a little skinny nigga, boy. If you can see me slide under this table, make sure you grab him when he falls. Bart, the link on Instagram. You can follow them. It's Sex in Oakland on Instagram. Uh, so like I said, yeah, y'all podcast is going. I'm like I said, I'm loving it. We'll I'm definitely with it. What I've seen, we, yeah, it. I'm, I'm very impressed. Content. You know, I, I support everybody doing their thing. You know, I, I salute. Thank we'll you. definitely when we link that up, let us know. We will definitely slide yeah, through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get y'all on some some surprise type of topic. Y'all uh, be okay. like, Ooh. Oh, we gonna have some here. surprises for you. We too. with it? All no right. blankets, no highway right. street. No, I'm right. actually. I've actually been to their podcast yeah, while they been was doing it live. Come back time. around. I was there and, and watched it with Rock while they was doing their thing. I was Good like, old okay, Rock. Cool. Shout out to Rock. Shout out to Rock. Yes, sir, yeah, James to Earl. Because old show. Rock, he doing his thing tonight. That's my producer. He ain't here with us tonight, but, you know, he here with us in And shout in out spirit. to Cat Bobino. Shout out to Cat Bobino, the sexy biologist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, she should come models if y'all ever curious what's going on under that lab coat. <laughs> <laughs> no, they see it through the lab some. coat. They yeah. Know. Here we giving. go. It is giving. Uh, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cat Bobbino. This Cat Bobbino. And Cat will be on the Venus Lounge tonight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. With Renee, Renee Mancada. and Talia. They, 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 come, they coming on at 7. Yeah, we'll probably yeah. still be gone, but we gonna, you know, I support, I support everybody, you know. Yes, you got to. And I have my own podcast, In the Know with Cat Bobino. Yes, where I talk to all kinds of people in science, technology, engineering, and math because mm-hmm. I want to see more of us in those fields. STEM ambassador. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See that? That's a scientist right mm-hmm. there. Right. Yes, and I y'all hate, think I she? Hate a science. I ain't gonna lie. See, that's a scientist, a biologist yeah, right there. Teacher. Yeah, I don't See? even remember if I went to class. Honestly, <laughs> 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 he was like class. I, ain't gonna lie, I, ain't gonna lie. I couldn't even tell you who the teacher was. I and Cat really is a prime example, also of she's going to be coming out with a manual on how to not need a BBL. He's going to show you how to get, well, how to get it natural. I'm going to need to be the first one with that because I'm definitely considering it like right now. Today. The proof, hey, the proof my is in the pudding. Calling my name. Listen, the black man, as, as, as a brother and, a, and, a, and sisters, I'm just natural. Please don't I'm, manipulate it's your body. It's going to look bodies. natural. Here's the thing. I, I hear you. Um, but I'm just, I'm just on my own humble opinion. Yeah. Most of the time, you know what I'm saying? Natural. I like cellulite you like stretch more. Yeah, yeah. y'all do. I get it. Some y'all, y'all don't do it for, for, for y'all don't, don't do it for us. Man. You do it for yourselves and the competition y'all have with each other. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mine would be more so just a, like a self confidence kind of thing. I, I, That's the same thing as to me as lingerie. Lingerie is for women. Men just want you naked. Yeah. I, I, oh, I, you that. already know. I, you, <laughs> I, well, but let me I tell you The sexiest thing a woman can wear, besides the smile I put on both of her sets of lips, is a t-shirt. Yeah, I remember that. I ain't gonna lie, though. Right. Like, I've had men be like, oh, let me buy you lingerie. I'm not a person that's, like, super into lingerie at all. Mm. But they're like, oh, let me buy you lingerie. And then, like, they'll buy it, and then you put it on, and then they all of three seconds look yeah. at you like, all right, so, next. I'm saying, if you come out, if you come out the room in lingerie, or you come out the room naked, both in heels, right? Facts. It, it's it's the we're visual, so that Unless, visual of it is great. Don't get me wrong. There's a but. Go ahead. Now, sometimes that 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 enhancement that I've took might need twenty to thirty minutes to kick oh, in. Oh, that gas that, <laughs> that gas so, station pill you so, took. So. <laughs> So, yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead on and give me a, <laughs> give me a couple more spins. You in fact, really? in fact, baby, in fact, I'm, I'm on. Fuck it. Wait, I'm no, on. In I fact, mean, like... walk back in and then walk back out. <laughs> and I'll let you know when it's go time. Uh, hey, them rhinos and them old gas iron yeah. fuckers. Hey, that's the shit pills. you got to uh, party yeah. foul. I'll just spill the drink. But that's that yeah. shit you got to hurry yeah. up and buy when everybody out the yeah. store. You exactly. Ain't nobody in here now. Yeah. That's like, why I'm 10,000 stretchers. No, but them joints need about, no, them sure. joints need about, 
20 to 30 minutes to kick in. Really? And have you I ever, t- and, and here, there's some people, niggas ain't going to admit it, but sometimes you can take it and you misread the vibe. And shit was, and shit was, and shit was cool. And now you're sitting there like, Jesus you know Christ. So what you want to do is you want to take it when you know for sure it's going down. Oh, yeah. But no you need but you need that but you need that time. Wait, hold on. Oh. How many times you want me to spin in circles? <laughs> I want you to keep spinning in circles till my eyes turn blue. Hell no. Uh-uh. No, no, you know, here's the thing. This is one thing that I've done, right? If you're gonna do lingerie and you gotta do it. Mm-hmm. You come out in your lingerie and mm-hmm. your heels before mm-hmm. y'all go out. See, this is the preview of what you're going to see when we get home. Put your clothes on and go out. Now, he has a visual of what's Mm -hmm. to come Mm -hmm. later. Right. Okay. So then you might not need the gas station. Mm-hmm. He might. No, because no, if you don't hear that gas station. No, because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Eat the watermelon. Let me tell you something. Get you some a regular Tuesday is a regular Tuesday. But if you're going out. And y'all know y'all going somewhere and she done gave you a preview. You the pressure is now on you to be like, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, gotta perform I gotta perform. Okay. I gotta perform like a champ. So you don't leave shit to chance. Too, so yeah. Well, I'll say this. I ain't I ain't never tried none of that gas station shit. Yeah, it ain't it, it ain't that I didn't want to. You. <laughs> <laughs> it, My ego it, will not allow me. It, but to I'm gonna tell you this to some gas station when building. it's good. And I I wasn't sober. It went. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't all natural. <laughs> you know what I mean. That's just my thing. Is that it is was that, some. It was some kind of enhancement needed. It's know? like this. If you already know you're a champion, mm-hmm. but you gotta sometimes you gotta be like I can't. It's like insurance. I can't leave shit to chance. Okay. I gotta. I, I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta bring it on in. <laughs> like, <laughs> So wait, do you? Because I I actually came across somebody like who wasn't all that. I, I, I won't. I won't it say just old people. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm not saying that, but I have came across somebody who was like in their thirties and they were doing. Well, the, like, I don't know about in their thirties. Mm-hmm. And like they like, do you tell mm-hmm. the person that you taking them or? Oh, absolutely oh. not. No, no. it's like a magician. <laughs> you know, you want them to be able to be like, well, geez, what got into you tonight? Huh, oh, baby, you was looking good. Nah, but what if she <laughs> want to hit you with the like the little the surprise? surprise? I was like, go out. You know, yeah. y'all just driving the car. She like, matter of fact, just pull okay. over. I, I need it right now. Now, what you finna do? Because you're not performing how you was performing at the okay. game. Hey, hey you sorry, got... baby, that's never happened to me before. <laughs> hey, oh, I feel yeah. like if you got a BBL, yeah, yeah, yeah. then I definitely can cheat too. Hey, yeah, it's an enhancement. <laughs> it's like what? taking steroids. She it's just an enhancement. She enhanced her body. Yeah, which is affecting my body. Actually, oh my they, they got women out there getting that ligation, ligation shit. Yeah. The rejuvenation. Can, yeah, they just leveling yeah, the playing field. That's, that's, I, I, that's, I, that's, I like, that's real old people shit. Or like, you know, they, they didn't have to be kids. some chicks with the blown out walls. Yeah, they had a few kids. I, I know. I, I mean... I don't know. I just, you know, I, I'm natural. Mark, that's hey, wilding right now. I know. I, I seen his comment. I was going to comment on How that. How much that shit cost? He said twice a year he go to Vegas and pay an escort to walk around the room naked and red. <laughs> um, excuse me. Uh-huh. You said red? Look. Talking about red, black, green. Shout out. Your color. Uh, that nigga wilding. That's, right hey, <laughs> bro. Uh, more power to you. I, yeah. Hey, uh, thanks for keeping it real, bro. I know, yeah. We're be doing some weird ass shit and trying. I need you to DM me up. at Crystal yeah. H on and that's not weird. No so such a production. That's what you want to do. Yeah. You know, yeah. swear to God, everybody lying on them yeah. and this and that. Be like, look, oh, you pay like the way, nigga, do you. Hey, I, that's the thing about it. I think people should live in nature. What you do, mm-hmm. you do. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, shit. You know, so my, my motto is women come first. Them gas station feels no, no, that's not what we're not going to do. That's a matter of ego. Put you like this. If a person in the NFL use steroids, right? Mm-hmm. People be like, "Oh, they cheating." But at the end of the day, you have to have a certain level of talent. Yeah, Barry Bonds to wasn't even home get... runs, regardless if it was, was off, off. No, I'm saying regardless if it, he was, coordination. If he never took a steroid, yeah. he still would have been exactly. a Hall of Fame I player. Could, I could so take like that this. shit all day and would get strike struck out every right. damn time. With the back. technique and style I got. Which is what I developed naturally. Uh-huh. I know I'm gonna get the thumbs up, right? right. Okay. I just want to make sure that That's at this stage in my life, though, that there ain't no slip ups. But it's still at the it's end of the day, if, if a cat can't bring it, he'll just be over there hard, and you'll be over there like slow down, Playboy. You know, yeah. you still gotta have a certain level of talent. True. But at the end of the day, if she rocking with you, everybody know people have bad days. I mean, yeah. ain't a man on this planet can't say he ain't had a bad day. 
Well, I never had a bad day till a certain age. Of <laughs> and I think that's and then every that. other day was bad. That's why I'm like, oh, shit. Do you prefer the pills or do you prefer the drinks? I, I never like tried drinks. I never oh. tried drinks. But I mean, you, you got about like it, you got like natural supplements you can take to oh, help yourself out. Either. Yeah, so they have my African rhino, partner like, told me that's about how I found out about it because we were in Vegas, which you know happens in Vegas, stays in Vegas. Okay, yeah, fuck. don't don't tell me um, about. <laughs> but don't like we're no in name. Vegas and he mm. left his suitcase open. I had seen the like rhino like drink, and at first I thought it was an energy drink. I'm not gonna lie to you, but then I was like, rhino, why that sounds so familiar? And I was like, oh, this the little things and the gas thing, you know. One two. Hope you took it as a compliment that he wanted to make sure he wanted to make sure. It was halfway drunk, and we hadn't had sex by then, so. My like, African nope. partner told me about this stuff called Yohimbi, and he's like, oh, that's the Gel natural packs. supplement yeah. that you, they use in Africa, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I tried it, but the thing was is later on, it made me nauseous, and I'm throwing up. Oh, yeah. What about the honey packs? I yeah, I, do, I honey fuck with the See, honey See, these things that I, I don't lie. know about. So the, the honey, honey, pack is the honey is all natural, like you know what I'm saying? It, you know what I mean? It, it gives you that, that, that enhancement. <laughs> That's what we you try to do, life change and shit. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So you feel oh, me? Wow. Like, yeah, that little honey shit. So the honey shit. pack isn't an enhancement. It just makes you horny. Nah, it's it's that should be having you going. You know what I mean? That's some that's some Native American shit. That's some you feel me? Some ancestral. Yeah, some ancestral. Is it like watermelon rind? Because you know I'm old school, so right. you know the you know how white people be like we always eat watermelon. You know watermelon and the rind is basically like natural Viagra because it it helps the the, the vessels. And, you know, anything that helps. Whatever works, man. So Shit, are, you, are you, you know, doing like what everybody else doing? They putting the honey packs in the bottle of alcohol now? I don't know. I've heard of that, but I'm not even really familiar with what a honey pack is, but I've heard people saying yeah, about that, yeah. and I was I, too I, embarrassed I, I, to be I, like, smoke shop give me right right Hey, the smoke shop right next to Ben Burger, they got them good honey packs, man. Y'all better get that honey, man. And how much oh. are they? Like three for dub. Something oh, like that. Oh, Man, I just spinning. drove. That's when y'all out. trying to get that. When y'all trying to give her them forty-eight pumps, because usually, I, hey, traditionally, I give you forty-seven. Yeah, I drove by Ben's. You know, I drove by Ben's on the way here. By the time I give you forty-seven, you gonna have a few. <laughs> Hey, you know, on the real though, the reason why like I don't <laughs> talk about sex, it's it's part of life, man. It's yeah. like one of you know what I mean. Like it's Fact. reality. You know what I'm saying? Like it's part of life. But uh, yeah, that honey shit go crazy. But but. To me, like, it ain't something that, that, like, any I, anything that you do over and over again, your body's going to get used to it. So, right. You know what I'm saying? So you got to like, do it in right, moderation. So you have to do like it on Special occasions only. Right. Well, it's not yeah. only but, special occasions for me. Like, if it's a regular night, it's a regular night. It's just going to be what it's be. I'm just talking about those nights when you can't leave it to chance. Right, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. this is a special, you just a special night. You out there and you want to just... If a female is super bad... Uh-huh. Yeah, and you get in that mm-hmm. shit and you smash for hours. It's something wrong with her, bro. Cause like any bad, any bad one, like just the sex shit. You shouldn't be like. I don't yeah. know. It's just me. Like, am I? I, I don't know. Am reality, I on an island with like this shit? I don't all know. Of like forty minutes. Anything past forty minutes. Yeah, I'm talking about too much. Is I'm, not okay, saying, so I'm not saying multiple. Just, you know, what I'm saying multiples. I'm saying like on one. I was yeah. saying forty like, minutes. Is that, that in two? Yeah, we're not in two with her. Getting eight. Hey, what's up, peaches? Yeah, um, it better. No. So <laughs> if we both doing it, then you probably looking at like maybe you going for an hour. Me personally, because you giving me head, it's just it's gonna take you a while to even get there. But wait, what? Personally, oh yeah. she's uptight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, personally, if it's just one person who gave head, and she like a and school teacher, fucking, a little to the left, about forty minutes, a little to the left, she gives like the instructions. I don't even give to instructions. I'm gonna just like right. move your head. I'm move my body, and I'm gonna just. Yeah, so you're so a left. wavelength thing. Forty minutes. Yeah. But what about in the morning? To me, I like so morning I sex. So I do is not like sex morning sex. I can't stand it. Mm. Because why in the fuck do you think I woke up wet and I'm just ready to have sex? Like, we not like y'all. Y'all wake up with a wood. That's our right maintenance fuck. check. You know, right. morning wood like, is maintenance check. Yeah, we be like, sleep. Like, I really so you, sleep. So you wouldn't well, if you really wanted up me, you'd wake to up. a nigga nibbling on your inner thigh trying to put a hickey on your ovary? My thing is, I love my sleep. So when I'm asleep, I don't even want you to bother me until I'm actually up. All right, so I wait till noon. So I'm more of an all night <laughs> person until the morning, but I'm not a early morning and like no. Don't do you that. catch me all natural in the morning. I'm smashing yeah. for real. Like in I, fact, I, I might probably, give you a better performance right. in the morning than I did at one a.m. 
And I'm mm. oh, I probably just got done dreaming about some bitch I didn't even want to be dreaming about. See? <laughs> See? And I might be trying to redeem myself for that one a.m. performance. So uh, yeah, you wake up in the morning. Oh, motherfucker, to wake up at two in the morning for seven months. And then on top of that, it's kind of like you know, no one brushed their teeth. You know, I'm just. That's why they invented dog kissing. That's why they invented the drawer. That's why they, hey, that's why they invented doggy style. Roll over. But no, you want to wake me up. You got me up. That's why they invented doggy style. Roll over. But no, you want to wake me up. You got to get it wet. So therefore, you want to not brush your teeth and then just come give me some head. Like, mm mm. That's not what we're doing. And sometimes we'll be in the zone. We're in the zone. So you want crest face down there in the morning? You got to go brush your teeth. Oh, for sure. And then order that Listerine, get that little yeah. snap. Like, I don't even give head unless I brush my teeth. I'm not going to Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody oh, wants yeah. Like, I'm not Nobody wants that gray film on your gums on their balls. Yeah, like, I'm not going to go out to dinner and have crab legs. Come back, yeah. girl, you know, yeah, house yeah. or whatever. You're having and then your balls you, burning because you yeah, ate some spicy. Yeah, because uh, I don't want to eat Because as soon as I give you head, then you're going to slide it in. Now, it's not. Kenyell said morning sex is the business. Yeah, right. to each his I, own. I, yeah, I, I agree. I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I prefer night sex. But it but don't mean sex, that you getting woke up. Morning yeah. sex don't mean that you getting that woke shit. up. We could be just hey, fresh. Fuck that. I'm gonna tell you something. Looking at each other like, what's up? It's mm-hmm. nothing. Hey, what's dope is being woke up where she fucking with you. Facts. That's it's, the best. It's, that's dope. That's know, dope as fuck. And that's hard to find, too. That's dope. That's hard to find, too. Like, but for real. But also, because on the receiving end... she sleep more than she wants him. I woke up... So, really, they always wake up before me. I'm is. not a morning person. Right. So, they always I'm, I'm, a night, I'm a night owl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? But I'm not opposed to in the morning, too. I'll do it in the morning. It's great. You know, My wake up in the morning, get in, get in. Get it all, you know, best part of waking up. It's when you bust that nut. <laughs> now, the flip side, though, to that, though, is that hopefully I ain't had nothing planned that day because I'm pretty much done for the day, though, too, after that. <laughs> I'm day. feeling light on my thing. toes. Uh-huh. I'll be feeling like I could run an obstacle nah. course. Shit, I'm yeah. going to sleep. Nah. Unless I got work. Like, uh-huh. that's the only time, like, if you go to work, you'd be like, all right, now I'm finna have yeah, a great that's day what I'm at work. About. But, like, if we yeah. really had nothing planned to do, just like, I'm never in bed all day now. Lazy day? Like, take turns, have sex, take turns, taking every time. Yeah. Your favorites, we're going to go get some water and snacks. Now, we're thinking about shit to do because it's hella early. We're going to go get some food, come back. No, we're not going to go get some food. Yes, we are. You're going to go cook. Gonna cook. <laughs> One or go get some food. You ain't necessarily got to cook. You can go to the nation, get the two egg, and by the time you get back, I'm going to take a little nap. And maybe... Maybe I'm ready for round three. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Women be said. I'll be hearing they be talking about <laughs> niggas don't be doing round twos and round threes. But, yeah, it does. I mean, it's like this. It goes we down. can do round threes, but it got to be a course of a 24-hour period. That ain't a round three. No, we still within the same okay. calendar. If it happens in the same calendar day, yeah. three. Like if, if round one is at 12 or one. Round two is at 7.37 a.m. Damn. And round three is at 11.45 a.m. Yeah. At least eat the pussy till so that's at least That's at least within a 12-hour period. So that counts as, yeah. So my round two and three is just so. like fireworks. Them motherfuckers is good when they first take off. <laughs> after a while, when they when so, the motherfuckers go off, after hey, a while, up, you ain't getting twos and threes them, uh, all I day long. Three I is kind of hard for, yeah. for most men. Three is hard. That's why we got to space it out. Now, you're going to get me a two-egg. I'm going to show you my appreciation by giving it another... Another swing. Okay. I, I'm Cheese on the mags, too, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but. Look. I don't even like it. The key to it. Yeah, that's why you're going to get me eggs. <laughs> I'm not cooking their breakfast. I know I'm damn near. It's called, I, I, it's I, called I Nations. Here we go. It's called you Nations. No breakfast. Up, it's Jesus? called I Nations. It's a good breakfast, but I just oh, okay. don't like Okay, so I was, that was going to be my next question. Yeah, no, so, I know how to cook. I just don't like it. Yeah, it's called okay, Nations. So you don't like. You know how to cook, but I you don't, don't like, like it. Yeah, no, I don't like you it. You're going to fry some chicken. Hell no. If you don't Everybody do nothing, else, you go So if, if you take the time out to cook for a nigga, oh, hang on, hang on. Hey, Pete. You're a really intelligent guy, gifted ass. All nations. If you take the time out to cook for for the dude who you with, she that said she's must not mean doing that. something. Yeah. And I tell him. She cooks like, three I'm times like, a year. If I ever cooked you a meal, just know you locked in with me forever because, like, I don't even like cooking for my own sister. So let me ask you, you this. With the mule. When you go cook this meal, that means that you locked in. 
Is it like the rib eye or some stuff, or is it Pop Tarts? <laughs> Just no. no, it's like lamb chops, garlic mashed potatoes, okay. and a nice, you know, okay. sauce right. that's going to go over that as well. Yeah. And, you know, a vegetable. Yeah. And you want a drink? I can make you a drink, too. Went to Mixology. And, fellas, that's your mm. tip. If, if you hit and you say, go get me something to eat, and she come back with the young TV dinner or something like that, yeah. you ain't put it down. If I that, that some shit, mm. You ain't put it down. Yeah, I'm finna hit you with the social media. Fact. Hey, Kiyah yeah, said facts. Keisha Keisha said get a personal chef. I yeah, hate. but you don't want no I'm personal a, chef, chef in the other room while you yeah. while you cooking. They, <laughs> they, yeah, because you wondering what sauce they putting in your meat. Or they gotta keep or they gotta keep knocking on the door. Are you done yet, Mr. Farrell? Give me two and a half more minutes, man, then put the eggs oh, on. Keisha Keisha <laughs> said she got a personal chef. Oh, your your thing thing is a personal chef? Mopo now, she do got personal shit, but the, the thing is, is that if after a vigorous session, uh-huh. are you going to engage your personal chef to go whip up your partner something to eat, or no, are you going to be gonna like, oh, something. I'm so enamored, I'm going to go in here and cook myself for him? I'm going to make a venture of it myself, personally. I'm going to go cook something. If she don't, I'm going to go do something. You know me. I'm I ain't cooking shit. shit. I know. You know That's my right. parameter. I'm going to go. Y'all out of line because nah, every dude, I think every dude, like my what last five, my definitely. My knees be weak. Shit. Women, I can't. I can't I, we get that, Scrambling but no think about it. Think my knees about, shaking. Just, just think about it, bro. I'm just thinking outside the box. What foreman doesn't like for a man to cook for and you feed her? Because ain't nothing like my meat in your mouth. I can only cook three things. You know what? Hamburgers, <laughs> chicken wings, The shit I and, cook, uh, if I cook it, it's dog. made with love. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's sexy. I think cooking is is sexy. Um, you know, just once again, right. it's yeah, just my it's too mo. It's, you know, cooking is sexy. You but know, I don't want a person. I don't want a personal chef standing then? out you know, there waiting for me to get what finished. What like? I cook. I cook all kind of stuff. I, you, Is it like southern fuck? cooking? Like you gonna put some smothered something? something I cook everything. I'm, I'm a cook. I know. I get down. No, I'll keep it. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't eat those kind of meals. Like what? too starchy. No, I cook everything. I oh, you don't eat soul food? I cook stuff that I don't eat at all. I think the most I get is macaroni and cheese and collard greens. That's as far as it goes. No some other pork chops? I don't eat pork. I don't eat pork either. What about some oxtails? I don't eat red meat. Smothered I chicken. cook it, hey, but man, I don't eat Keisha, it. Keisha, you had a Smothered professional chicken, chef? Maybe. Shit, let me borrow $5. Yeah, Keisha balling. Yeah, Keisha, Keisha balling. Keisha, we still got to get you lined up to come up here, sis. But, uh, but like I asked Keisha. But I think cooking is sexy as fuck. You going to literally have your personal chef waiting outside for the signal of, hey, we're done, now bring us a meal. Uh-huh. <laughs> or are you going to get up yourself That's sexy and cook? As fuck. Of course, hey, right. Keith, she she says she like me and that cook. Exactly, right. me. I'm I'm you know I'm humbly cocky. Like, I'm gonna try I, some chicken wings tonight. I got an apron that says all this and I can cook. Ain't gonna be no damn male cook walking around my motherfucking house. Yeah, I, I, it's me for nice my queen. Female cook. She might yeah. not want. My person, she might not want it. the That's female the cook in there, Keisha. Especially when, bring, especially when she bring, yeah. especially when she bring that, especially when she bring that tray and wearing nothing but an apron. Hey, I'm gonna be I'll, feed okay me grapes. I wear the apron. If, up, if I'm dealing with somebody, I us. cook for them. I had an apron on with nothing on but the little chef hat and the apron on. Now, me and Fly's going to have to see my cook come and bring I'm the talking, drinks. Yeah. Go ahead. Make you some shit. I, oh, so you're okay with that? I'm definitely okay with you that. And your dude just got, you and your dude, your friend, smack. just got through smashing, mm-hmm. and here comes the cook yeah. with just an apron on and okay. nothing else, feeding this nigga grapes to replenish him. Can she and you're it okay with that? Can she do it in house? Ooh. I'm not sure she want to. Keisha, I don't get it. I help her, but that's I'm yeah, trying okay to game that. I'm trying to she game that. Yeah, she okay, can. and what if she decides? And what if she says? Oh, okay, I'm just saying. What if you want to tag in? Look, that's what. Yeah, and I can bake. You know, I can make some cakes and stuff. Shit from scratch. You know, I was taught. You know, I got grandma. Grandma's still here. God, no nah, peaches. We ain't got no know. gold mine. Uh, <laughs> but I was taught to cook. Watching my mom, my grandma, my aunties. And all that, and my great aunties, you know, they making cheesecakes, all this shit from scratch. Oh, so, yeah. and I was, you know, I'm just a busy ass dude. So I've always been like, and when I was younger, I always thought, man, you know me, I do the opposite of what normal regular niggas do. Mm-hmm. I'm like, y'all niggas out here got to have cars on 25s and all this to get a chick. Man, I feed a chick a great meal, and she'll be like, hmm. Why? Because I spent my time making this shit. And I'm, I'm, I was skinny back then, but I've always thought of myself as a sexy-ass nigga. I'm your fuck. I'm fat. Yeah, so what? I'm fluffy. <laughs> I keep you warm in the fucking winter. 
Yeah. But Birds of Shock G never I'm stop saying, me from getting busy. It don't. But I'm just saying, I've always thought that, you know, I, I cook and whatever, you appreciate it because that's some real deep shit. Yeah. Cooking is intimate if you really get into it. What if you just find some wings like me? What's, oh, what's my God. That with? ain't it. You keep bringing up this fried chicken. That's not that's it. That's all I'm doing. That's not it. You got to sauce them up. But I do got some of that fun. little parsley shit, though. So what I oh, do you got is I put I the parsley on. I can't parsley shit. Please stop. But it make it look fancy. Everybody it put parsley on that shit look, for coloration. Yeah, for presentation. presentation. Yeah, look For fancy. presentation. I get all that. Presentation. You know, and I'm not no Bro. classically trained chef or none of that shit. But I mean, I, I learned how to cook on YouTube. Yeah, you you learned how to knock phones over on. I did learn how to do that on Twitch. But no, nah, I, I learned how to cook on YouTube. That's just the greatest shit they I ever cook. made. I love YouTube to cook. YouTube is very... Um, I, like I said, I cook shit I don't eat. Man, my lemon honey, not lemon pepper, but my lemon honey with actual lemon and actual honey mm-hmm. in it. Exactly. Is, I got that off of that. that it's, some, right? it's some of the greatest shit ever. Oh, lemon and honey. How you do? Okay. You bake it, barbecue it? No, no, you fry it. And there's mm-hmm. a couple of spices that you normally don't put in that you got to go to like a Mexican store mm-hmm. or that stuff to get in there. And you literally, you grate the lemons there into the honey and you cook mm-hmm. it in and then you drizzle it over the chicken. And trust me, with a, try with a honey, honey with a honey drizzle, mm-hmm. not just with a spoon, mm-hmm. you do it right with yeah. a honey drizzle. Now I'm going to do that. The pandemic, I never really cooked before the pandemic. Okay. But being at the pandemic, especially when my job was like, we're going to pay you, nigga, but don't come. So mm-hmm. I would literally be sitting at home all day, cooking, clocking, and doing nothing. So then I started right. getting on YouTube, mm-hmm. and I would then start. So each day I would be like, okay, I'm going to go to YouTube and pick something random, and I'm going to go to the store and get that and cook it. Oh, I done wow. cooked in and out pies. I done did, man, some wild shit, man. Mm. Hey, let me ask y'all this. So, did yeah. they, so we've been talking about this honey and all that. Do they have something for women? Um, oh, they do. They have um, I think it's called like a pink pussy or something like that. It's a pill. Pill. It. And it's a pill. Oh, so what does like it do? Answer. Just basically supposed to make you like wet and and horny. Honestly, did it I work never, for you? So when I took it, I was probably like, <laughs> <laughs> I was living in Vegas at the time, and um, I don't know if it worked Wait, or if it was because you I was needed drinking. this thing. Hold on, let's see. So no, what it was. So Vegas has this very large sex store. Like it's mm-hmm. like a warehouse kind of ordeal. So mm-hmm. I had just moved out there and I was like, I was telling my roommate at the time, she was my friend. I was like, we should. Um, Come on, Izzy. I was like, we should yeah. go to this, you know, thing and you know, go buy some stuff. Yeah. So then we came across the. Um, we came across the Welcome. field. Welcome. With every bullet. And <laughs> we both took one. But we was drinking Hennessy at the same time. This was back when I was Glass drinking cognac. You and, um, you know, like, probably like an hour later, we felt something, but we don't know if it was really from the pill or if it was just because we was drinking and we was, you know, mm-hmm. bitches out So you there. took a pill unnecessarily. Basically. Mm. But you must have felt something because you were remember it. Right it wasn't hey. like, it, it was just Girl like love. we wanted, like, it was more so like She's it so gave cute. us a thought of thinking. It never, like, had us wet or nothing like that. I always have the thought of thinking. That's my worst enemy. Yeah. When it comes well, to sex, oh yeah, no, like because <laughs> I, I be have thinking that a lot than... of thoughts about yeah, yeah. Peaches, you know what we're talking about. Oh, but then there are she, like those little. She, she's um, talking about this pill called the pink pussy. Yeah, they I are. I see that um, at the gas station all the time. Right. You do? Yeah, so, the pink damn, pussy. I there are like some things like, people are coming up with too on Instagram, but you just can't put everything in your vagina. Right. Wait, get yeah. Oh wait, you take you don't so, take the pill by these on. lips. You wait, take you it by put, the other lips. You put the pink pussy mm-hmm. in your pussy. I don't know. I don't. I put my like what I put in pussy is not no pills. There's a lot of like turning this dick. You know, women online selling things that you can like inject. Like a jelly, or oh, like but a, not the pink uh, one. What does it do? Like a lubricant or something that's supposed to make you more wet and. But I'm just saying, because if they sell, if they sell me and stuff because oh, that's a suppository, type- I would never take none of that. Okay, hold so, on, baby. Let me shove on. this pill up my ass and let it hit my butt. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's just pause for half a second. You are one, very against any type two, of that, you know. To welcome Izzy. Don't start that. Izzy <laughs> is also one of the podcast ladies Hi, of y'all. Sex in Oakland. Yes, the dark skin one. Tisha wants to know what it does. Welcome. 
How you be? Try to I'm find doing out good. I'm happy doing Friday. Good. Happy Friday. Get her to saying that she was looking a mess, looking at Look how cute she looked. She ain't got no eyebrows, though. She looks eyelashes. good. Oh, eyelashes. She I knew it was up. We, we don't got worry eyebrows. about all that. Right. <laughs> right. She right. said right. cute I eyebrows. Like eyebrows. I like no. them. She said, I don't like eyebrows. I'm not putting nothing like in their personal stuff. Yeah, I feel you. Your daughter on here. Yeah, I don't need that. No, she already logged off. Oh, she logged off? No, mine be subtle. So... So she didn't get here by magic. She, she know what time yeah. it is. Where do I? Y'all knew I was coming. Eyelashes don't do that for me. Mm-hmm. You don't yak one. tonight. Yak or tequila? Uh-huh. She does not drink yak. She tequila. Oh, she classy. She is. And I she saw is. your video too. The, uh, you liked the, it? Oh yeah, you doing your thing. You already know. Thank I, I should, you. Oh yeah. It's murder. You know, I saw yeah, your video away. too. Shut you the know. fuck up. Hey, well, I start a wild I ass rumor. I saw you on video. You saw me? Was I going crazy? Nah, she doing her thing. <laughs> you I support. Hand. I support <laughs> folks all Thank day. Thank you. Thank you. That's what's up. What's that? She 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 it ain't that. Yeah. I don't yeah. like it. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. I don't yeah. look at it and oh, be like, you. oh, that makes her look better. I see through that. I can't live my life without them. Tisha says she's not putting nothing in her personal stuff. Take your hat off. Yeah, you gonna end up with yeast infection, BB. I'm just saying. So what is there an effect for the man? Like, what if you? Put you this thing inside of you and it didn't so dissolve it can all the way. Be, no, so it's, yeah, it's usually like a lubricant. I would have never saw that. So it's like, I was you know, you just squirt a little bit, <laughs> do what you do. Um, but how but long does it take like, to evaporate for? It's not going to be messing not, with me. It's not really an evaporate. It's, 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 it's there. Like, it's what it's you slick. do for But I'm saying if it's going in your bloodstream, unless biologically it doesn't affect me, it's going to go inside of mine. So what? So I'm saying I'm pretty sure. Get the they're body. supposed to be 100% natural. I personally body. never charge. Oh, okay. But they're I'm supposed just to just wondering. make you tight, wet, and make you horny. I mean, because okay. you could get a man, he feeling like a champ, but it's because you done put something in there. Hey, he hey, hey. Y'all men um, ever tried like those, like those little machines? And that's not, it's not uh-huh. really a machine, but this guy that I used to date, he had these, he had two equipments, and one was like a two, mind you, his penis was large. Uh, yes, but his penis was already big, so it, it would confuse me. But he would, um, one of the Every two. Every nigga was, want they dick bigger. And I don't know and why, because I, I don't average. like it. Those aren't actually for bigger. Like Those are actually the main time you're One of them he did would throw me, it would, both of them threw me off, honestly. One of them, it was like a, um, you filled it up with hot water, and then you stick your dick it's in. Like I had this shit in one of them things and that you get the massages in and make it. <laughs> and then the, more yes. your, the more your dick stays in the hot water, it like, it grows until it fills the whole tube. Oh, okay, and the opposite of the cold one. You keep it on there for a long time, and it'll, it'll. The more you do it, the, the larger your, your, the longer your penis. So let me is. picture the scenario. And you're making out. You're making out. It's almost the moment of truth, and I say, "Hold on, no. let me get the tube of hot water." Now we no. sit there and watch. No. What's in a while? No. Niggas gonna be sitting around with hot water filled <laughs> no, bike tire in the tubes around their dick now. Spare time, like to make. Oh, you talking about like like how y'all do tables? So nigga got to let me get my dick to hydro. So you gotta bring you gotta bring yeah, like, This wasn't even to prepare hour. for sex. No. This was like hmm. this was to make it bigger. It's, I'm telling you, it was it's already big. This was just because just he wanted to be bigger. So y'all be on the phone and you be like school. So y'all be on the phone and you be like, Oh, I'm watching doing? Love and Hip Hop and he be like, Oh, I'm Injected my dick with hot I'm water. A rubber band around my dick with some with some weights and I'm just walking around. On his dick and it'll like my pull shit it stretching. down. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't like I'm it. Though. Old school. Yeah, that's it. Cause I'm like, I'm cool. I don't. It's, I don't like big dick things. Ain't already. nobody at the. You gotta know how to use I'm it. Too lazy. So I you didn't like it due to the amount of no, amount of dedication. Already, no, it was no. on one. You don't want to swing. Mm-hmm. Shove it in there. So make it nah, I know no, how to I'm use it. Like yeah. No, I didn't like that. So I just can't put that level of energy like into my dick. And that's a misnomer for dudes that that's they think fuck up a woman's wall. Because baby's way bigger than our dick will ever be. So you can't fuck up walls. What you can do is massage them pleasurably until you uncontrollably squirt. And then you cook me eggs in the morning. No, they be what? <laughs> no, cheese eggs. No, they be doing this and you well, not she even fully all the way there, ready. Yeah. None of that. Hey, that's that's why they be fucking you up. Say but that's lie. why. No, she ain't lying. Mm-hmm. Nice guys finish last. What? Are we talking about you lie about you not going to get nations with the cheese eggs? For I know, Tisha. We trying to. Cooking, See, but it's for it me. <laughs> no nice, nice guys finish last. Not that selfish. So only you get to eat. Shut up. Like I'm putting in all, I'm putting all the work. Right At the end of the day, the all y'all got to do is show up and look cute. Huh? Uh, I got to put in so, the actual work. Wait a minute. You ain't putting in no work. No, 20 minutes riding? Bullshit. 
Well, hey, I get I get you signed that's after that's Davis. Hard work I'm talking about legal documents for court. Yeah, yeah, this yeah that's a lot of work. work and I, I, I'm, I'm a kind of short. But. You said 20 minutes gone here, sis. Riding. That's, 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 that's like a most of y'all, workout. most of y'all get up there for three minutes and then be like, "Oh, I'm so no, tired." I'm gonna be tired, and I will be like, reverse I'm not cowgirl. "I hear no fucks. Keep riding." Reverse but, cowgirl, yeah. and you put your finger right in the base of her. Never mind, I'm gonna give y'all too much shit. Y'all niggas gonna hate your chicks. He trying to give y'all that eggs in the morning. Why do you do that? Just say it. Whatever well, you gonna I say, do. just say he it. He said, "You gonna put the game is to be sold." No, at that point, no. Well, you could. One leg up, one arm on neck. The dimples at the base of her back at the butt. That's fucking like the PlayStation controller. Oh, I thought you those were retarded about practice. Mm, no, nah. y'all better know about it. Both. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was man. I haven't seen that look since the fourth grade of my teacher. <laughs> and so, then you know, usually that would be accompanied by getting took out by my ears. <laughs> <laughs> so back to these. Uh, <laughs> Cause we've been. That, that I know Keisha like you. We focus on one conversation. I know we just going and going. And shit. So these female, like, okay. So we since we on the female enhancement shit. Mm-hmm. The, be the roles, too. the roles, taking all kinds of pills. Yeah, I don't have one. I don't have one. I don't have one. So one when's your birthday? What y'all talking about? The rose, the vibrator. Oh, I got you. The rose. Oh, dude. Oh, the women is, and then you need to come back and give us a full no, report. No, 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 the Ben Wall balls, that's the 70 flower, shit. Oh, the little right. flower rose shit, women put on them and they don't even need you no more? What? Hold up. But remember, this women nigga Mark The rose, man, they had a rose shit. and have them go there, but the rose ain't going to fuck up your credit and use your car all weekend. <laughs> and, have a li- and, they, and leave an earring in the... In yeah. the, the, the passenger side door. <laughs> Ooh, wait a and, and, hold him, wait a minute, hold him. I'm going to say delete that shit. I'm going to ask you a question man. in a minute, but uh, I'm against woman violence, but a woman would get kicked out the bedroom for this shit. Aunt said, y'all ever had a woman try to peg you? No. I will, no. You know ever there's know. a lot of men that I, like to peg. There's a lot of women who like to peg. What is it? I'm cool. Pegging is when you yeah. put on a strap and you fuck a man. Oh. Yeah, I'm cool. Is Ain't gonna it? happen. Mm-hmm. Ain't gonna be able to do it, bro. You feel me, bro? Ain't gonna be. Hey, I, you, you. Hey, well, hey, head. you already said some wild shit about Vegas, There's bro. A podcast I, of these two girls. I'm cool. Talk about pagan, pagan dudes, and they got like. I, I ain't got nothing against nobody that, that does like that. that. And the end of that, you be in what you into, long as you ain't. I ain't gonna no lie. Kids. I just, I couldn't do lie. it and look at a man. I had a partner, and he was arguing with his girl, and she said, "Don't make me tell these niggas about the the condom on the screwdriver," and we all acted like. Mm-hmm. Y'all didn't hear that? Cool. Yeah, we all acted like we didn't even Hell hear no. that shit. Oh, okay, all right, and I was saying, hey, bro. I was. I got some, some, some. I didn't hear shit. what she just said. <laughs> yeah. Like I, we didn't even hear that nah, shit. I'm cool. And that nigga looked up and no like, "Man, bitch, a motherfucking lie." I'm like, "That's a wild ass lie." That <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. Up with. And then she came off with it super quick. Like, nah. so I was, you know, you be sitting there like, to say that shit. Like, yeah. like, yeah. I don't know what the fuck she talking about. Certain people in general. That's the, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, the farthest I'm gonna get with that, like a new Well, I guess she was talking about, like, you know, the screwdrivers got the hard like end. I guess she was putting it. Or maybe a hand on the motherfucker and running up the Even the right below the ball. He's like, don't let that shit there. I'm like, you know. I'm like, I'm like, I believe that you think it, but I know. I've been told that under that shit. I know, but I'm cool. Off the dog, huh? You're not comfortable with your sexuality. I'm very comfortable with who I am, but do you not touching my ass? I'm sorry. You gotta get a little my wife knows. My wife, I walk on my wife, accusation. my wife will slap my ass, and I look at her like, dude, don't play with me. You're not like comfortable that. with your sex. I'm no, you. I'm very comfortable. You ain't touching my ass, though. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Wow, not a thumb. A no. Club. No. See, first no. off, on, on two no. separate levels, one, Sorry, I don't I'm think full. that shit would be. I'm pleasurable cool. and two that's, for that's just not I just I'm just not gonna sit there and let a motherfucker run and start in my ass oh shit and said some shit and said one of his his boy's girl got a five incher that vibrates see that's I'm cool so and, how I see it is but to each his own he wanting something that's shaped like a dick in his ass Mm-mm. That's just not it. Um, like, I that's not like nothing. But yeah, but I'm like, if it. he wants you to like, oh, that's a good question. Have a or a finger or something standard. from I'm his girl. That's not.
It's nothing gay about that. It's not double standard. I didn't say it was gay. I just, I just like, said it ain't for me. She okay with it, but she I'm don't not participate in it. I said I'm okay with the meaning I will never kink shame if a man likes to do it. My man wanted to do that. I don't have a man. Just fine. But if. <laughs> Birthday is not a. I didn't want to do it. No. But if somebody. And I'm going to come with that. You. Like, you like to get fucked in the ass? No. But if you like to get fucked in the ass by a man, then that changes things for me. Okay. <laughs> this is the wildest conversation I've ever heard. You got sex also here. You thought we was yeah. yeah. you know, you know, you know, was going to Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And we got to do part three. With she wild. Four. She might oh, look innocent, this. but she wild as fuck. You know, that shit. This. I mean. Uh, ass play I'm, is fine. I, oh, okay. So, yeah, okay. so we yep. got uh, Steve Raffer says, "Do the women on the panel think many women fake the O?" Oh. She Definitely faked one just two days ago. Definitely. Yeah. 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 Why? Well, I, I know, know that. man. I don't because need that. Women, some women are like. You know, that fake ass moaning. Yeah. I'll be like, "Come on, blood, nice. knock it out." I know some I ain't doing all that. Nice. <laughs> they're, they're about um, pleasing the man and too worried about. Like, and that's a good thing. They're, they're, it is a good thing, but mm-hmm. it's like you do too much of like pleasing his um, his ego. And you're Please like, his ego and you're, eggs. You're taken away from your own pleasure. Mm-hmm. You said what? What you sound Please like? Please his ego and giddy mm-hmm. eggs. And get him Ain't nobody getting yeah. no, no fucking ass. But, he won't let this go. So you willing to fake an orgasm and make a nigga feel better, but you're not willing to go in there and scrap so no, some eggs. I'm not faking This is the wildest. Do you want to drink some eggs the next time I come here? No, chicken wings. No, chicken wings. Chicken, wine. Wine. chicken no, wings. I'm not doing it to fake. I want chicken wings. To, want to boost his ego. I'm more so do it if you just not doing what you need to do. Like, and I'm, okay, I'm just look. really over it. Like, the I'm fake, like, all right. The I'm fake, the the fake moaning is good to me, but the fake orgasm, I I'd rather you not. I'd rather I'm, just try again next time. But really, it's yeah. not like I'm just be like, uh, like you just uh, gonna irritate me with that. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm just cap. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I do fake an orgasm, but it's, it's after I've already had orgasm. Okay, because yeah. women sneak right. a nut, bro. Don't about to have yeah. an orgasm, women sneak a nut. I just like the idea. Yeah, just, just like we came together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Like we all you in coordinate. Right. So like, oh, yeah. But I know, like, when you actually other sister, are is he watching? in sync and y'all yeah, both do it? come at the same time, that is like that's almost like that's getting like, married. Like yes. I feel like we have such a great connection now. Yeah, like yeah, for life. Mm-hmm. We just did like, this together. Yeah. This is teamwork. Literally, like, and if it's completely unplanned, it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Damn, talk about some shit to avoid. Mm-hmm. What? I don't want no emotional connections. That's fucked up. Well, that's you already happened. fucked them. You come with me? Yeah. That you was an emotional connection. Me. Uh, not right, necessarily. Not, here's the thing. I'm going to just say, don't fake moan. All that shit I think is whack. So what you Pers- want us to do? Be silent? No. I don't want no, you to I, be I, silent. Me, so I'm, a, I'm just saying for me personally, if I'm fucking with you, my, Hi. I'm, I, I'm, Hi. I'm very open about if I'm fucking with you. My goal for anybody I fuck with is to be the reason you touch yourself at three in the morning, and I want to reach those heights. So, I'm, I would want to have this conversation with you. To, I'm willing to learn of hey, what you want to do, what to have you there, what you like. We doing this. Tell me how you felt at this moment. If we if we there like so that, you want a full report after? I ain't saying you got to give me a full report. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is, nice guys finish last, and I don't win races. Cause you take out. I mean, I just want to be on R. Kelly's. What's that? What's that? The way they yeah. song said, "I don't mind." Like I want to be in that category. Like, hey, I want to come through. Hey, you know what? I don't mind, exactly. but I don't want you to necessarily sitting there like, let me forsake all others. I'm for Pharaoh, because now I'm we trying. are in this tune. No, baby, it's a big world out there. It's a lot going no, on. Go do your thing, baby, and then like, come back around. It just means that, like, my pussy really like you. Like, it really exactly. Like That's you. my goal. To, so to, I want your pussy to just to admire me. I don't want it to really Man, like me. I want, I want to. to I want you, might not, you might not get two nuts out of me. You might just really get, like, half of one. But here goes the thing. Word if it's word. Tuesday night and it's 11 and I'm within range and, okay, then you might be like, cool. See, that's, call call me, call me when it's, like, you know, when it ain't the war, like when we just in boot camp. Hey, right, Keisha. You know? Exactly. You should be able to discuss what what, what pleases one another. Exactly. I want to have those conversations. I ain't saying there got to be car. no in-depth report right. of, okay, well, this time. No, nah, no. Nah, I want to learn you. Mm-hmm. 
I'm I'm a I'm you know I'm a teacher student by nature. I'm 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 a substitute teacher. I come in every night and do school, what I'm supposed to do. Hey, like, Keisha I'm said Fair Old like, I'm just yeah. saying <laughs> because I, I'm just being honest. Once again, so I'm just being honest. On, My on, goal, on, if so I'm ties, fucking with you. Is to be able access. to keep fucking with you and keep fucking. If I'm, this is my single self talking. This is my overall opinion of me and my disposition. Being honest, even as a married dude, if I'm fucking with somebody, I'm always gonna want to be able to fuck. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it a buck, and I'm gonna make sure. A hired nurse. You know, mm -hmm. I'm. A, I'm gonna touch spots. I'm gonna do what I do because that's my goal. Mm -hmm. Personally, I, it's personal with me. It ain't the Olympics, because. Man. Olympics? You trying to win a gold medal, man? Gold medal? I'm just no, trying to I'm trying to win lifetime <laughs> achievement awards. Fuck a gold medal. Oh, you trying to get gold medal? I'm trying to just get one of those certificates. Like I, I, I'm Pharaoh trying to. Was hey, I want to well, be the motherfucker that. Here. You want to be Lord, for, back Lord forbid, yeah. I, we be in a situation. I'm single somewhere, and you just be one day be like, you know, something? back in like two. I've been since 2008. Yeah, I've been on. Yeah, so back in 2007. This nigga did, and ooh, and I'm still on your mind. Shit, power to me. Yeah, that's and you hit me up. Cause I'm, a, I can't even tell you half the people. I'm, so I'm just saying. Person who I lost my virginity to. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, no, that should be at least one motherfucker that was memorable. See, people mm -hmm. be getting that, people be getting that confused. They always think that like the person took your virginity has like this yeah, no. special place. No, you should at least remember the first remember. incident, like it was mm -hmm. with dude. Mm -hmm. I was young. I mean, no, no. My, my I first. I mean, my first incident was god was god awful. In fact, why was it awful? Uh, well, you Wait, know, first off, no, no, we were the same yeah. age. Wow, Actually, that is, you are the first in lifetime. I swear, they're always yeah, she, but, but, oh, she, no, but, so but, but the thing is, we were the same age, but she was much more experienced than I. And mm -hmm. in fact, one of my partners was like, "Blood." She'll let you hit. So I went over there, and she let me hit. And I think it was yeah. 47 seconds. Damn. And I was so co so confused afterward. I didn't know what to do. Do we go to get? Huh? You know like, we go to I got to bring you apples. You know so I went. Some, I went found. <laughs> I went found somebody that I really. It was such. It was a cool experience in a way. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I said this for somebody I like. And I literally went to the person that I was right after? fake talking to. Like now, a couple of days later, and was like, "Hey, you need to do this." Yeah, she did. <laughs> yeah. Was she already having sex? Yeah. Sure. The second person? Yeah. I don't think so. And yeah. she was like, I was saving it for prom. I'm like, prom is now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, my God. Uh, but yeah. the first yeah. person, though, yeah. she, like, damn near everybody in the neighborhood had hit, and that's why I knew it was cool. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah, we home. all had those. Yes, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. But I, right yes, but I only went in that hole for about 42 hey. seconds. I so, ain't gonna lie. I mean, y'all both younger than me, but my generation, the generation, the we used to play hide and go get yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And you had that motherfucker that always would trip. <laughs> Oops, I'm caught. <laughs> she better not kiss you. That wasn't actually like. Some people would trip. Huh? Huh? But see, I only, uh -huh. I only played yeah. hide and go get it with you. Uh -huh. It was like, yeah. it was cool for the hey. dry hump. It's like, uh, uh, it was the dry hump. We had the Garfield. Yeah, we know she a freak. Uh -huh. I was playing hide and go get it when I was playing hide and go get it. That's how we finna get it in right now. We ain't gonna say we trying to smash or do nothing like that. I got my heart broken in hide and go get it. I went from one particular girl. I remember one catcher. And then I said, my told my partner, I'm like, man, I'm tired of you know I humping on her jeans and dude saying, oh no, blood, them jeans come off. <laughs> hey. And I was like, for real? Uh, yeah. I ain't gonna uh, lie though. Can we like? I wish we could bring back humping because that was like humping. Some hey, hold shit. on. My partner. <laughs> I used to love it. I used to love it. I used to love it. And you know what's crazy? I was leaving with a fucking wet spot. I used to do it it's with like I had a, a like a female friend too. And like she, she really was the one that introduced me to it. And every time I went to her house, yeah, like she always just would hump me, and I'd be like, "Bro, this is so great." Like if the, it's <laughs> almost equivalent See, to nothing at the you. same because time. Hey, uh, Izzy said booty right? tag was the best. Great. Great. I would be the girl. <laughs> the best I would be the best that shit was boring. That's that's the answer. Hey, right, right Bill. It wasn't for me when all the girls were around. I'd be like, "Yo, what? come on, let's." I'm that way. Hey, or are we, we used playing to... mom and daddy? I'm like, oh yeah, mom daddy. and daddy, I'll doctor. Play. I'm always quick to be the we, daddy. Yeah, we played in my house on East 19th and the Dubs, and still got the house to this day, three story Victoria. We used to play hide and go get it because my mom worked graveyard. So, oh damn, y'all was up all night, just um, nasty. I was a beast. Uh, yeah. These are the kids on the block. Everybody came to my house. 
You heard the three story Victorian. Three story Victorian. It's still he had there. three stories to be. Uh, and my back in the backyard, the, the yard is big as fuck. That's crazy. Still, we used to. Everybody used to come to my house. We played tag, red light, green light. Oh, I didn't go get it. Anything physical. Y'all made red light, green light. Red light. We did. Green light. We were shot. Red we light. did. We, we, I'm, you know what I'm Yellow saying? Light. We, <laughs> did what we did. We had a, I, we had a grapevine. My grandmother in the backyard at our house, we had a grapevine. So you had a lattice structure, which is basically a wood structure with the vines of the grapes go up and go over. So you could be under the grapevine and nobody could see you. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, but back then, I was, like, I, I, but, but back my then, mama like, worked graveyard. <laughs> and but back then, like touching, touching, yeah. touching a girl, even with her clothes on, that was like yeah. she was naked. Like if heart, you touched my mom be like, it, "Why? Hey, if you touch the titty, it didn't matter. Spin the bottle, that, right, is he? On it Spin or the not. bottle. Like, we played all that shit on nineteen. That's wild. Like, murders, man. We did that shit. Man. We play spin the bottle, the, the corduroys. She, my mom be like, why the fuck the knees on your corduroys always rubbed out? And this part always rubbed out, faded. I play a lot of baseball. <laughs> hey, I slide and we used to wrestle too. But when I got to be an adult, that was one of the things I did best though, was you know, you touch it with the bra. Oh, yeah. So when you get adult, they go in there and come out bra, and you be like, ooh, I, I kind of like yeah, that. That, like, yeah, that like rubbing that. until it's cool to lift them up. Right. And then yeah. with grown women, come be out, it's like, steamy, and you be like, steamy. damn, that's Kind of, that was kind of a little it. thrill. Motherfuckers <laughs> be steaming, boy. Don't have no glasses on. That old is... bra steam will fog your glasses up. No, Ooh, that's facts. too hot. <laughs> Man, that's, no, the only that's game you, I used to play you, like that was like make slap them hot ass when you heat them up. Slap, slap ass, ass Friday. Friday. Yeah, slap ass Friday. It was like Please explain heat. that. So it was a, definitely a school thing. That was very a school thing for sure. Mm -hmm. And basically every <laughs> Friday the boys would go running around slapping bitches' ass. And yeah. if you didn't get your ass slapped, then you was dead because you, you just wasn't hurt. Dead to the world. Yeah. So you like, why did I slap my ass? Comments. Right. Yeah. I'm okay. saying that. So <laughs> yeah. It's like that's not okay with you. Because some of my fathers be like, he didn't slap my ass. Like, you hey, know, we had, had a little crush too. That's so sad. Look, not to cut you off, she said she used to love booty tag though. That was like a nigga's favorite though. Yeah. That was like favorite. Yeah, Izzy, her, her, my, my frat brother Melvin is her husband. He, he the one that said she said my hubby said slapped uh, ass tag. Yeah, I know Mel. Yeah, Mel. Yeah, I, that's my. Brother. But let me ask y'all this: <laughs> Both of you young ladies have outstanding shapes. Myself. Did you guys so not, always out have? To the did you guys have a nice shapes when y'all was growing up, or did y'all grow into it? No, I always had a nice shape growing up. And that's, that's why I was always getting my ass left on Fridays. Oh, okay. No problem. Mm. I was skinny. I was until I think I was like a teen. I always had like a little booty on me. I always yeah. had a little booty on me. But that's skinny with booty. That's yeah. how they I went. did not have boobs either. Boobs I, didn't come until I was damn near grown. I was always stuck in my He just said niggas used to risk their life. <laughs> I was always. Slapping I her think, ass. I think it's when I got into like my sophomore year, my body started to like fill out. You can imagine I didn't either get or boobs until I was 21. I went to, um. Where did I go to? to oh. I went to um, Franklin. The, she went to Rudsdale. Yeah. That's what we gonna and call. Dewey. I went to Franklin. Then I went to... My sister's went to my dad. I didn't go to my sister. Okay. She went to Dewey. And then I went to... Bruh. <laughs> Why Dewey? He gets the joke. What be popping off What's with Dewey? Nothing. Dewey was just this wild ass continuous. Dewey, Cause you didn't Dewey want to say what you did. did. I was like, okay, she about to work with Dewey. Cause when you back in the girls, when you met a girl that went to do it, you knew she was just with the with the shit. <laughs> That's how I got caught. She probably had a little yeah. twenty two like in her first. I went so far away. She from her with one of them fingernails. Oh, lives. you did go do it. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say, okay, you don't had a gun be, in your purse. Don't be going Izzy like that. So, uh, Is anybody got a gun in the purse right now? She thought to regulate me if I get too far out of line. She represent. She got a stuff. Okay, it's a gun free zone. Because I don't want to piss one of y'all off and this be it. Hey. And live <laughs> live Facebook getting murdered. We ain't violent. I, hey, I'm the Black Panther. This is my protection. Niggas understand. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't. I mean, the purse ain't big for nothing. I would hate to get. You know I would saying? hate to get killed on Facebook live and go viral. Like the like last the moments of Pharaoh getting my oh, head blown about off. Doing... Like them kids who just uh, shot them. Oh, I saw that. I almost yeah. cried over that shit. Yeah. 
She just you, went where from you bone be at, to a hip dick. I don't be no that <laughs> shit. That I, be, I, I almost I cried off the shit. Man. You don't know about the rose. You don't know about. I mean, then she went right back to something. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so you seen something? He said she went from. Yeah. Little kids was playing in the bathroom with a gun, and one kid had the gun to the back of the other kid's head. Y'all really and that's just squeeze the figure. Y'all really yeah, doing, I saw that was going really like ugly chick with no makeup. This conversation. Like, do, you the the girl, do you think that the little oh, girl? Do you think that the little girl? Oh, they showed the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Do you think well, that it was an accident that she did that? You think that oh, she man, actually killed herself? Yeah, they just curved the She killed herself. I think she killed herself, but she killed the other girl on accident. Because no, that little boy on accident, of course. Yeah, no, she killed herself. Because you could clearly see the gun. You can hear and see the gun drop. She it right. And then she picked it back up and then shot herself again. Because it was so. It's like. She My probably grabbed is, it wrong. That's what her, 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 her mom her said. Mom she said grabbed that. it by the barrel. You got to pull the trigger. I thought she was just so distraught. She probably grabbed it wrong. I think that you she gotta killed pull the trigger. herself. Y'all she just, killed herself. She knew uh, that was it. You're on live for free one. Free-flowing conversation, but yeah, go ahead. And, yeah, you know. Let true. me tell you something. I would have blew his head. I would have blew my cousin's just, head off. I would have closed the live. I would have walked out of there and pretended like I didn't know what the fuck was going on. The people on live was going to tune in and say They lying. No, you and wouldn't. Like, I would have stood on it. Niggas. And if she was only 12, she ain't that smart thing. No. She'd have to wipe her fingerprints off. When I was she 12, niggas was knocking niggas she down. Had... And when niggas knew not to uh, not niggas knew not to give no statements, not say nothing, no nothing. Niggas uh, knew to put ammonia on their hands to get the gunpowder uh, residue off okay, their pocket. Okay, you giving y'all too much ism in this thing. Uh, um, anyway. I couldn't understand yeah. how they were just a group. It was all those people in that house. Yeah, they was at a family function. We'll change the topic. You can't get old and think you know. Like when I was 12, like I knew way more shit than older people thought I knew. Yeah, but I really prefer not to. Shit, I was. That's, a, that's just I mean, sad. On my 11th birthday, I walked to the store. I, niggas I, came sorry. up and said, I'm "Take this be... and go throw it in the in the fucking canal." Niggas had just Y'all knocked really down some niggas just... at the store. I think you're supposed to keep that to yourself. I mean, they all dead now. <laughs> all of them. All right. Hey, right niggas didn't even make it out the '80s. So, what, what about the whole um, the Will and Jada situation? I oh, was I was yeah. okay. Cause you know I gotta bring the it Matrix. Okay. Okay. I, I would have got on that nigga oh, helmet already. back oh, today. Hold on. Let's preface go, this. Hey, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Is it... Can we go to, to something and then we can go into that? Go ahead. Uh-oh. Okay, so there was this one video and it was a group of moms and they was at a school. We seen that they was um it was a twerking contest. Oh, I saw that. Oh, at the school. Yeah. In the basketball gym. An uproar about and oh, uh, because uh, oh you oh, so you don't like that. Did no, you, I'm I'm I'm. Oh, go ahead. I didn't post it. What it was it was it was a four moms and it was and it got yeah it, was. it went viral and it was that one mom was going in yeah. yeah she was going crazy mm-hmm. what do y'all think about that how do y'all feel about that I, the younger moms so it's it's like this is something that's normal behavior and it's not like when i was a kid when i was that age and i was in school your mom was like oh and nigga because you were like, hey, well, was that so and so mom, and we'd be My cool. Yeah. Moms don't shoot. have that that status you. anymore, so it don't ma- so it don't really matter. Mm-hmm. See, See I my mother didn't listen to the same music I did. Nah, and my did. friends' right. mothers didn't listen to the same music. Now, a mom and the kids both listen to the yeah, same music. Sure. They even dress similar, uh, so the moms ladies. ain't on the same Grandma status. They on social media. I feel like this situation is different over sexualizes things that aren't that sexual. Mm-hmm. It's just dancing. That's that's I, to me that's them living in their sex, that's them expressing themselves. That's them living think, in their sexuality. Yeah. Every time us black women do mm-hmm. something that is anything remotely sexual norm just tapping into your sensuality or tapping into cuz tapping into your sexuality doesn't have to be a norm. sexual form. True. And a black I'm agreeing with you. Twerking is by the way, okay, I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. The so norm is we should be covered up and but here's the thing. Wait, and they weren't exposed. We're just, uh, yeah. It's a double edged sword. Yeah. yeah. Just I'm, I, I, I understand I'm what not, you're saying. I'm not, I'm not against it. I'm not. A black I'm woman twerking is always okay with me. It, I'm, I, I, my, as long as she uh, make you some eggs the, the next day. <laughs> and the eggs in the morning. But if your mama grits. was twerking or doing something similar, come on. It's like the meme. Remember the one meme? But they our show mama's twerking like some wild shit. Yeah. But the current, it's, yeah. but like one of my baby mama's saying. twerking, I'd be like, oh, she a fool for that. So it's just like the I one meme. Because I look at her on the same level as I looked at my mother. Where, remember the one meme? Y'all, I'm going to draw y'all attention if y'all remember this meme. There's a meme, and it's been out for a few years, of it said, Freak Nick. 
94, and it was the police with the mom bent over, whatever. And the, and it was a comment said, Could you please take this down? That's my mom. Mm-hmm. Let's I'm going see. Freak week tomorrow. I, I was a frequent freak Nick so, contributor. And let me tell you something there's some people I that I knew that was, at, that was at mm-hmm. freak Nick. That be sitting around talking about ooh these young girls today, and I be like, come on, blood, knock it it off. These young girls today, we used to get it in in the mid '90s. You go to the Essence Festival, you go to Freak Nick, you go to Black Ski Weekend, man. If if, 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 if your mom, if your mom's, if your mom's with the Essence. Black she was doing her and freak thing. Nick, trust me, girls she done had, One of your siblings' I, father ain't I really that chicks. nigga. Or, or, that's or, some chicks. That's or, chicks get hey, in. Hey, they go on them girls' trips. I know. Yeah. Yeah. And the like, Pro Bowl. <laughs> they go to the Pro Bowl, All Star Weekend, all that. This and that. The only mm-hmm. thing was is that nobody was because nigga had you had to get them on Polaroid. Right. So yeah. nobody was on. Nobody <laughs> was on tape. Nobody was on tape. And 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 back in the days, niggas was more simpish. She could come back. And be pregnant, like I told you, some of y'all siblings oh, don't keep a nigga baby. Ain't your ain't your full sibling. Mm-hmm. Trust me, that your some of your because siblings damn. is from a one night stand your mom had go, when she was six oh, deep in oh, a, six in. deep in the Motel Six. <laughs> you know they be they go out there they what they stay they six I'm seven deep in the room at the Motel Six. I'm gonna get in on the comments. Oh, oh my! So God. y'all feel like there's a, it's a time and place. Y'all not with it? it I, I think it is a time and a place. Cause but, that's where your kids no, all good. Needs education. That don't need to be where he learning. I mean, oh, they learning how to fucking twerk. That's just ridiculous. But what is wrong with twerking? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with it at all. My thing <laughs> is, you not up in there teaching them how to salsa dance. I mean, I think even it's that, a time and a place. Because twerking right. is an African yeah. dance. That's twerking right. Is it's, African it's our pure, it's our pure man, thing. You ain't finna be twerking at no funeral, man. Vaughn was good. I've I'm seen twerking at a funeral. Well, why not? <laughs> So well, it was a talent I have show. seen twerking it at a wasn't funeral. A show. I it couldn't, was, couldn't I believe it. I, I think it might, might have been a rally, but yeah. mm. but why why won't you? Why how do I you thought it was all in fun. Because it doesn't have to be twerking to um, back that ass up, but it could be twerking to some type of some type of um, I don't know spiritual music to where it's it's not coming. From it could have been cultural, to, and I still find it inappropriate. Man. Keisha I'm, said hoes, but no, will hoes just didn't. Come on, man. You just got to step in front of the babies at, at some kind of event. Nah, go ahead on and shake that ass, man. Just go and live yeah, one you time. Gonna, you don't care. You're going to get some. Well, no, see, the, the thing is, if they would have been half naked and twerking, I'd have been like, come on, knock it off. But they were fully clothed. I mean, twerking is twerking. I think my, just my humble opinion as a humble connoisseur of, you know, the melanated woman. Uh, oh, they already talking about. Yeah, and we're gonna get in that after. We're gonna touch this, then we'll touch on and that. And Jada is bullshit. completely the blame. I, I know. I, I want to let's get on this, and then we'll get on the 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 banana in the tailpipe. Everybody commenting on for for the last few weeks, <laughs> for the last week. But in context, I think what happens is, like you said, everything's over hypersexualized. True. Mm-hmm. And well, context and content. No, it's not. I think. I'm I'm all about women being liberated, sexuality, to express yourself. I'm great with that. Me too. But I also, at the same time, and this is just me being a man Jane saying, speaking on it. this is my protector mode. Yes, she is, Keisha. You know, as 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 the melanated king I'm supposed to be, mm-hmm. that my ancestors want me to be, that I'm supposed to be. When I get that, because I feed both wolves, I'm ratchet and righteous, but I don't go to church because I don't like being lied to. But oh my God. Here's the thing. Part of me is like, there's a place and a time. Exactly. Yeah. I get it. I'm not saying, oh, y'all should never. But I think any because of the hypersensitivity and the hypersexuality of society, everybody in general, in general public is going to judge what you're doing. Right. I'm not saying right or wrong. Mm-hmm. But, and I'm being contradictory of myself when I say this just in I'm being devil's advocate with my own comment because I'm looking at it honestly from both sides I see it as okay I see it but at the same time once again that that ancestral protector is stop looking at my sisters y'all shouldn't because they're going to judge you I may not judge you yeah that's what I think my protector 
so it's of show us the, is the way other people are viewing this woman. But what if you be like, shit, look, we got the baddest bitches over here. Show them what you working with, baby. <laughs> but I'm just like, saying, like, if it's a seventh it's grade so graduation and some it. women came out twerking, I'm going to be like, come on, blood. Yeah, like, but if it's like, I get, I if get it's the like after dinner dance. party or something and they do it, then I'm like, at it's a school a whole function, thing. I'm kind of like, mm. but at the same, but here's the thing society has teenage, elementary, junior high school beauty pageants now. Mm-hmm. So it's the same thing, but with us, it when it comes to though. us, it's it's hyper and more because we gyrate. Sisters have the the best bodies in the, the world. I don't give That's a fuck who you are or what you think. I'm just giving you my opinion. You ain't got to agree with me. Shit, eat a dick if you don't. I don't give a fuck. But I'm just saying. Well, I agree. So my thing is like, like look at Izzy about, right here. If I go to a restaurant, uh-huh. right? And you look at look at her. She got that curve. I'm trying to yeah, yeah. I'm literally gonna intentionally when I op- of course she's supposed to open the door, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna let her go ahead of me yeah. because I want motherfuckers to be like, Ooh. and then they look over me and I'm like, I'm so I won't. I, I want her. I want show them what you work with. Me show them. Show them. Because I want you. Because I want you out front. Because you want the you want your woman out front. You want them to see how bad your woman is. And be like, yeah, nigga, and that's me. Oh, so course. what about the women when they're that's doing the Polynesian kind of dances? Cause Same thing. And they're Hawaii. They're in their hats. They're, 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 they're barely wearing clothes. That's part of their culture. That's part of their culture. But, but they do that as Africans. And, and we embrace That is it. the same thing. Is that different so I get or it. is that same? Or are we, is that on the I'm, same I'm, ball? Is the same? Same? Again, I'm with you. Because we're judged. Black Americans are judged on a different standard. We're, we're expected to be standard, like, yes. we're expected to be, oh, we're expected I'm, to assimilate. So certain things like having a big butt, having big nose, having big lips, <laughs> it's not an acceptable say, thing. Not uh, I think it's but wild. then when we go, but then when we go in exactly. deep into our blackness, it's like, mm-hmm. ooh, y'all doing okay, too much. So for me, I, I agree with you to a certain extent, but it's a difference between shaking your hips like you, on a hula hoop and bending over and, and making and your booty cheeks where I'm trying to, where I'm trying to go into I'm, I'm, I'm looking, looking like it's a difference where you like bop 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 or you like I don't got my glasses like, see I feel you like glasses I had transitionals when I'm be out with the white African you say I don't want to get slapped African because I might look at some oh, shit that I ain't supposed to look at but oh I'm just saying I'm here I'm a slightly creature I'm a slightly creature, a creature. It's a when they're shaking their hips, they're shaking their ass. Backstage, the Keisha is correct. That's part of our culture. Exactly. That's us embracing mm-hmm. it's, our sensuality. It's vibrational. It's, it's You're looking hormonal. At the okay, but I'm saying like, but okay, this is my that. point. Beyonce can do the sexiest fucking belly dances I've ever seen to make me just want to lose all my marbles. She's Secure not making her, her booty cheeks clap, Bullshit. and she can do it. Like she could. I'm just saying. Oh, I get like, what you're saying. You talking about the. Yeah, just the oh, yeah, twerking, right? What like, is it? I ain't got to do something like to me, too to me, That shit they doing to me, now. To me, ass is hold on. To me, way. sexual, but it's not even really about but, the ass clapping or not. It's about, to me, like being sexy ain't about just like, oh, I'm here. And Beyonce like, was on my open. line one time, but she was too young. <laughs> so She wasn't going to make you no fucking eggs. Uh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know she was only sixteen at the time. Trust me, she would have cooked me some eggs. I think I would have my dad to teach her, but she. Right. Yeah. I think that just from speaking from a man's perspective, mm-hmm. no sugar in the tank. None. I like sugar in my grits, but not in my tank. But Period. just speaking, You're supposed to say your line at that point. Um, I no, think what happens is. <laughs> The judgmental stage I mean. comes because <laughs> men want their woman to be perfect, and they're to immature. Degree. Right, and they're immature. And when I say immature, I don't mean I just mean not fully open to because a lot of us aren't fully open to everything. And and, Keisha, and you should. But so the judgmental thing is, I want my woman to be the sexiest woman in the world, and she should be that to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. You know. But to take from what you just said, oh, you don't want to be too perfect because then you can't smother finish. out and dog it like you want to. I don't. I don't want to do that. I want to hear. It. I'm gonna hear it all. We want our woman to be the sexiest, and we do, we want her to be the the woman in the street, freaking the sheets. Yes. Max. And to see her, because and let me 
halfway pivot back. Men, we already know we're lower. Well, oh, shit. So, let me take that back. Yeah. Niggas that know, when it comes to thought process, we put our women on the pedestal higher than us. And we don't... Ex- uh, exactly. And when it comes to looking at the shit they do, but we want that shit that we don't want them to do in public, we want that shit. Right. Just and to public. see... Right. Hold but when we see thing. that done, so it's that, man, what the fuck? And then you got... It's all of us right now. All of us right here melanated. We can, t- we can all sit here right now and trace our roots back to some aboriginal shit that that's another conversation you'll get at three in the morning but (laughs) let somebody that we created probably six thousand years ago who run a lot of shit now you'll get that at three in the morning the way they gonna judge it is different but our protector mode in our male dna when we don't let all the receptors that block shit now whether it be weed drink smoke uh, social media, all the shit that blocked the real receptors that you're supposed to get, when you align your chakras, you'll know what the fuck I'm talking about. But, when that mode kick in, you don't want the others to be able to judge and see all and have really an opinion on that shit. Mm. But, at the end of the day, the woman is God. You don't want to do that to a degree because I had one that I was exalting and treating like I was the protector. And one day she had to tell me, quit quit treating me like a princess, nigga, and shove that shit down my throat. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes, sometimes that's a conversation you need to have. Sometimes when you feel like you're the protector and she's just exalted, and then suddenly you start treating her so gentle and like a princess, and you forget that that she's a woman that. At a certain like, point, I nigga, assert your dominance. So you don't want to treat it too good. nicely. Uh, Nick said, no. sugar don't Sometimes that carry do. over to the bed. You be like, oh, honey, is this about. okay? Oh, no, that's true. Oh, gee, baby, is that's this all right? And you be like, nigga, come on. No, and, for uh, real. That's true. Dog this shit, nigga. I know, yeah. Hey, I can, I can tell you, when I was younger, because, I mean, here's the thing. Sugar do go on grits. It shit do. Hey, and Nick, it do. do. And do. Uh, here's the thing. I'll say this. When I was younger. I don't like the song. I want eggs. Eggs in my grapes. Nothing sexy. You want chicken eggs, though, right? You want eggs. I really want chicken wings more than I want eggs. So, I'm going to piggyback off what you're saying, right? And I'm going to give you the reverse. Talk to me. So, and this is just for me personally, but I want y'all's opinion on this. Okay. Y'all don't like chicken wings? No. Okay. Why? 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 overbearing, not I say overbearing, I'll never try to be rude or nothing like that, but on certain shit, I'm really shy, right, and if I'm at you, I'm cool, but I will fall back because who the fuck like rejection, nobody do, but a woman who has the confidence to bring you there, like you said, I get it, you treat me like a princess, and me, I'll be like, hey, okay, we're going to chill, and in the back of my mind, I'll be like, man, I really want to do, I may not go there. Mm-hmm. Just off trying to be respectful. Right. That gets annoying. But yep. you should wait for her. Um, nothing nothing her wrong. I, I, it's sexy that, for a woman to to, yeah. to be like, nudge me or something in your own way to be like, nigga, just a uh, king. Dad, daddy, don't call me daddy. I got a daughter. Hmm. <laughs> I have four of them. Call me Deshaun. Call me by my friend name. Call me show your Call me number four. Call me the motherfucker that you think about at three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going there. I knew he was going there. I'm just saying. I get it. I'm, 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 I'm right now. I'm saying don't call me daddy. Yeah, I got daddy issues too, but I ain't. Look at Tyrone's comment. Uh, Von Trapper, look at Tyrone's comment. Slap her choker and call no, her out her like, no, Sometimes I, I have that tendency when I really like a woman uh-huh. to suddenly just treat her like this gentle flower and then maybe cool. dog the other one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and you ask, sometimes women will be like, come on, nigga, cool. knock it off, nigga. Off. I need you to have a good yeah. Nigga, you was rough when I met you, and then all of a sudden you tell, you, you tell the, the dude, show. you feeling him that you want him to get aggressive? Yeah. Or I, you I see Von Trapper's comment? told mm-hmm. the dude I was Slapper talking to, like, name. Yeah. he was doing like back shots, and he was going like slow for his own purpose, and I was just sitting there, and I was like, I just stopped moaning after, but I was like, um, I just need you to like, 
beat this shit up. Like, let me out, because this is not... Okay, this is not that's what I'm talking about. And he was like, oh, but okay, that's well, I didn't want to... When a nigga start liking you or treating you a certain but, way, they don't want to do that. Yeah. I, See, I, I, I like that. I, I like agree, that. but disagree with what you said. Mm-hmm. I think the thing is, and I can only speak for myself, I'm going to put you... I may put you on a pedestal mentally, right, because I'm like, man, I'm really trying to be cool and trying to be mm-hmm. right. I, I can be a... I'm not, it's some wild shit that I ain't gonna do with a female, you know, whatever. But I'm saying, I may have you here mentally, mm-hmm. and I'm not gonna approach, because I'm like, man, if we start, I want you to acknowledge it, And but I think, just once again, me personally, mm-hmm. is I think that shit is sexy as fuck. Because from my own life experiences, the shit I've been through yeah. in life, when I, I was 15, I had a 19 year old living, and I was at her, I was young as fuck, you okay. know. And but the first time it happened, she snatched me and was like, "That shit's yeah. sexy as fuck." That's yeah. always the I best. Ladies take that. the initiative. And I'm I'm okay with me. This is just me personally. I'm okay with being aggressive. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I will say is, I don't like for it to be expected from me. And I think yeah, that's not, I, for me personally, yeah. I think it's because I'm still I'm still like but how growing can a person sexually. Know your limits? Hold on, I'm still growing sexually. Mm-hmm. So I have the ability to be aggressive, but I don't, I'm going to go as far as you, as you bring it to me when mm-hmm. we're in that sexual element, that sexual moment. So if you not like, if you're not really showing me that first sexually, it kind of like, I'm kind of not going to do anything. You kind of stand but off. But in the age like, of I'm kind of standoffish in a sense, like, but once we get more comfortable, yeah, it kind of, it changes, but... The first initial like time we're getting, we're getting, I just want you to like just come with it. If I don't like it, then I'll say, hey, I'm not feeling. But that. in the age of but Cosby, I'll... I gotta know what your limits mm-hmm. are and how far you're <laughs> willing to go before mm-hmm. I know to go wherever I'm trying to go. But what I would, for me personally, when I'm dealing with someone, I want, I want that person to just. Do, do you it. express that to them though? Yeah. Like, okay. Hey, big I'm boy, get it sens- in. How you I'm feel? I'm a very sensual person. I'm mm-hmm. a very. I'm gonna go off your energy. Okay. Like, whatever you do, I'm going to bounce off of it. A nigga would hate to pull your hair, and you'd be like, motherfucker, don't you ever pull my shit. That nigga like, okay. That's how you learn. Or get to revving across the top of that shit. Yeah, women want you to leave. Right. Tracks like her. Exactly. I I get that. I'm with that. I think it's a. a, 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 I agree. We need you to say, do what you will. I was. When I was younger, like I said, and I'm a, if my wife watching, babe, just forgive this comment. This is way before you. When I was younger, it's plenty of times, and this is a conversation I've had with I'll drink people, to that. have been where I was like, I wanted to do some shit, but I was like, man, what if I try this shit, and they trying to be cool, respectful, and then later it was like, nigga, why you didn't? Let me add on to that. And I'm like. Know. Mother, and you've been like, nigga, I was ready to, and I'm trying to be cool and respectful. Let me add on to that when you're done. Let me say it first. Mm -hmm. If you get a woman to, to like, if you open her up sexually to a certain point, she's damn near with whatever you're on. Like, damn near. If you get her open enough, Mm -hmm. if you, you know, get her comfortable, make her feel good, all those things, just Mm -hmm. get her in the right moment, she's damn near with whatever. If you have to question it, that means you haven't even built that that moment yet. So if you're not, if you have to question it, then you're not there and you shouldn't be trying nothing. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have to question it. You should know, like, I got it. And let I'm me add on to this. She gonna be with it. And There's been that. a couple of occasions no, in my life always true. where it did ah. it didn't go it didn't go down because I was being nice and respectful. Mm-hmm. And then I got told later on, nigga, if you really wanted it, you would have took it. Yeah, and I I, I get you that. You didn't. But I never nigga, wanted you to be violent. Really, you must have really wanted. I'm sitting there I, like, I, well, I you said it. no. Right, like, like, nigga, should have took it. Like, I'm and I'm sitting there like, I'm sitting there like. That, that's He's there like, oh, I if I'd have never. been just a little more aggressive, I could have hit it. Yeah, Damn, I'm gonna be, a dummy. But on the first me wrong, side, I get cocky. Yeah. That was gonna like be you my gotta point, let though. me know if it's cool. You gotta give me the green flag. Yeah, yeah, that was gonna be my point because, cocky, because, because not all women is the same. Like you can't. He you just can't, said you speak in You can't just say like, okay, well, if you didn't okay. do like this, like Duly some women it. just but ain't gonna true. say nothing. I'm not even gonna but, lie. That's but, true. But they on splash flash, and you don't even know. But they like, will you please just? But they so classy or, or so shy. So it could it could yeah. be it could be different reasons. That's my point. You be like, man, I'm not gonna go there with her because she. Whoopy whoop, and then later on you find out 
Nigga, if you just nigga, if you just would have got it in, nigga. Yeah, what yeah, you're yeah. saying is facts. What you're mm-hmm. saying yeah. is some women will be just too much in their head. They're like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah. But if you get her to that right. element, right. I don't know what he talking about. If That's some women, they do. He's an expert. Some women do, I'm not going to lie. But if you get her to that moment, you're not going to have to think about nothing. Oh, yeah, no, I agree. If but you, if said you, you get her facts. wide yeah. open, wide oh, yeah. open, you're no, not going to have to. No, I agree with that more so. I was just saying, like, it's, you it's still a small percentage of the time where it's a Isabel like speaking facts. You know right? why that percentage is what it is? Because you haven't you haven't done what you're supposed to do. it's just some women ain't like that. Y'all haven't built that much. No, like I say, I agree with you, like, for the most part. But some women ain't like that. You no, can't, you're like, right, though. Cause some I women have just don't like even that. know That's how to, like... wrong, and now you... Some women you just, like... Some women <laughs> haven't had a lot of sexual partners. Like, they might have been married or not the nigga for the Like, got like for me... Come, I'm come, like, on, come on, bro. Hold you already know. Hold on, let me... Let me... Let me let, come on. Hold on, hold on. Let's last finish. It's some women... Like, the women that I like... Like, I prefer women who have the least amount of sexual encounters as possible. So Why? It's some, it's some, I like you to be seasoned. It's some, it's get it in, baby. It's, <laughs> no, no. You could be a freak, but it's some it's some women that might have had, had like a high school sweetheart that they married, you feel me, and, and, and now they free. You feel me? Like, that's my flavor right there. Like, you know what I mean? I need you to But, but that doesn't mean that they not wild and they not freaky or whatever, you know what I'm saying, like that. But I'm just saying, like, some women don't know, they haven't had enough experiences yeah. to know how to break out of that pod. Don't know you feel me? Body. Like that's all know. Yeah, they don't know. They might not yeah. be experienced as as, as you. Know. Let me get in here. I got a double let standard. Here, I want you to have experience. Let I just don't want you to fuck a lot of niggas I know. Hmm. Yeah. Small world. That part. I'm just gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say my piece. Come on, black, black, black privilege Jay Jonah for the record. But uh every Speak woman, on it. Every woman wanna be led Every right. woman want to be slutted out, but respectfully. Respectfully. And like exactly. Izzy was saying. But some of like them present the front like they don't. Like yeah, but, yeah, but, like they, but like they presented the front to you when they told you you couldn't fuck. But if you have went about it the right way, you fucking. know what I'm talking about. Women respect dominance, strength, I got you. and honor. You know what I'm saying? That being said, mm-hmm. you know, you, you, you go up in there and whisper the right thing up in her ear the mm-hmm. right way. Mm-hmm. Who's she going to be talking about? Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm talking about mind. the most respectful, the most respectful yeah. woman to do the nastiest shit behind yeah. closed doors. Yeah. You know that's yeah. why? Because she comfortable. Yeah. You know yeah. why she you know why she comfortable? Because you, you made her feel good. You let her that way. That's yeah. brought her there. You're with her, controlling yeah. her. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? But that's all I got to say. Every okay. woman likes no, to be all of that Because all of that soft shit, all of that soft shit, all of that baby, you okay? Is it okay to slut you out? That's that that's soft ass shit. That's not gonna get her. Yeah. That's not gonna get her. I get it. Hey, hey, hey. But when you're a young dude and you're still learning, yeah. you can fall into those pitfalls. I agree with that. This guy that I was talking to, he was like, Yeah, that's what I said. You know, that's what I said. Like, 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 that's he like she don't she won't let me record she won't let me she only let me fuck her from the back I'm like well tell her you ain't giving her no dick and you and she no you're not dick. fucking like t- you it's like you it's make her rock I'm anymore. like he, how old was fuck it? he's like 28 or something like that but I'm like oh 28 not 22 yeah, but I'm like, 23 it's oh. simple I'm like all you gotta do I'm is tell her like 23. I'm not about to be fucking from the I got the dick right here I'm I'm dick run this train dick my pussy this like. I get it. But that's that be the problem. So basically, no. you're saying that yeah, like you're submissive be in the bedroom. True. I, I, I'm, I'm I submissive, get that. But I am but they gotta come Are you with submissive, Crystal? That shit. Mm. I say I like about 25 submissive, but okay. I really like to control everything. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, yeah. I get that. Now we, yeah, fuck. we ain't going to work. Yeah, now no, fucking can... for sure. I so, do like to control it. So then that means, that means like, you getting done in the morning. 7 a.m. Oh, that's God. probably why I'm not I'm getting done. Surprise! Surprise. You, ain't clear. Clear. you ain't ran into the nigga that's like, well, hey, what's Shirley nah, Burdock? Will... It's morning. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm as we lay. Yeah. I will allow that person to be dominant every uh-huh. now and then, but no, I really like to run the whole show. Like, I like Damn. it to go. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you haven't run in. And she probably pegging It's safe to say you haven't run into the person that. She probably pegging niggas. I run the show. It's morning, nigga. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I definitely see you playing. Nah, because it's like once you bend over, I'm gonna be like, 
Yeah. She got a nigga that yelling, wait a minute. Wait. I'd be like, you don't even wax, bro. Like, no, see, I think Peggy would be y'all like, porn. Just stop this you Peggy ever watch shit. like porn? This is not like, Tyler Perry. You'll watch porn, uh, you'll be some shit, and then after you're done, you'll be like, why am I watching this? I get that. I'm just speaking, like I said, when I was younger, even if I was single now, I just. I, I, I just don't want no, do nobody to trying to say shit. Right, like so I, I don't want who fits him over. But, but once I, I know is once I get it, it and no, and not even say hey, but that, the bad side of that goes like that about what's what's about some women don't get out of here. you spun about and you need to be like, thank you for letting me do that. But on the flip side, oh, you a nasty bitch. I don't know why. I felt that way when I like first. Nigga, don't call a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, I need to make some decisions. No, I just put my thumb there. And it's like, he loved it. Like, but then I love it because. Like, I got all <laughs> kind of control of you, right? <laughs> so I got all kind of control of you. I'm, I'm still done. laughing. After I don't know what y'all are even saying to tell you. You can't even say to tell you. Wait, because after you was done, he was like, you let me put my thumb in your ass. Yeah, like, no, once uh, they uh, let it. It's like finger wrestling now. We didn't even hear that You her bitch. I'm cool. I'm sorry. It's thumb wrestling. I'm cool. I don't know. Hey, you like a Sony... PlayStation yeah, control now, nigga. See, no, I'm sorry. Yeah. If y'all that into that, more oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, no, hey. no judgment. Exactly. But it ain't for me. Hey, go on and live, player. Yeah, do you. <laughs> I see myself pegging a dude for real talking hella shit. And after, I like, I, I, I can't, can't believe, believe uh-huh. like, I can't believe you let me do that to you. Oh, shit. Yeah. And honestly, okay, because of that, I don't good. think good. that you and I can see each other. Oh, uh, no. Now I'm, I'm talking all good. kind of different. I ain't gonna lie. That's, exactly. probably, that's why, like, I have to be. Now like, it's like, hey, babe, could you bring some water? You be like, nigga, what you want? Sprinkles, faucet water, or you don't want no Avion? I, nah. I, I fact, he ain't even gonna be able to lay there and get no water. She gonna put him out. I said, yeah, I nigga, the water hose outside. It's just I'm more cool. so like, That's, you know. The water hose outside, nigga. It's this for me. If they drink faucet water in the 70s. I'm looking at your ass. Yeah. I, I will never yeah. look at you the same. You gotta you be laying back. I'm not kink shaming. I'm not kink shaming. If you like that, I am not against it. If you do that with your woman, I promote it. I'm here. I'm here for it. I just... She understands. We wear not fucking with you, but she understands. We wear thighs like earmuffs. But other than that, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta just let her one time. In fact, I didn't even go. I didn't go lie. I had to become cool. a full grown yeah, adult before I would even meet. Had you ever seen him like? Mm, had you guys been sexual yeah, before that? Facts. Mm-hmm. And had he ever like came the same way that like when he nah, did that? Really it was good. totally different. That was like whole another experience for him. I'm cool. And I was like, wow. Hey, hey, y'all, I hope that y'all see like, that. Get a great. million. Like he always enjoyed my head, but like that he was like. Yeah. Bitch, you can get what you want. Like, what you want? Like, you want a card? I hope y'all podcast get <laughs> a million right views. Uh, y'all yeah. the best. Make sure y'all check these sisters out. Check us out. Two, two of the four ladies from Section Oakland Podcast, please subscribe to their page. Please. And Section I just Oakland text Rio, Instagram. like, where you at? And she I'm, ain't I'm gonna, I'm Hey, never mind. Hey, we going to, hey, bro, the, the, the conversation we're going to have offline is a different conversation. We will not do that tonight. I think Miss Ninja running for me. I ain't gonna lie, Miss Ninja is with a whole she lot of shit it. that y'all, y'all, she she's busy. a real innocent, she, but nasty. She nasty. cool, she a now, cool piece. Now, I'm gonna go on record, and I hope she's watching. Mm-hmm. Rio fake as fuck. Oh, don't do that. Don't do her. Damn. That's the homie. No, let me qualify that no, statement. No, don't, don't, no, 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 no. When Rio hey, is drunk, hey, it Will gets Smith. Smith. Oh, Will Hold on, Smith. let me, fi- let me finish, let me finish. <laughs> let me finish, Charlotte. <laughs> Shawnee. <laughs> Stop I that. I have been that. there. I have that. seen her I know, in conversations. That's their brand. That's their brand. Don't do that. 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 We just airing her out. Don't we do just that. getting some air. We don't do we that. Right we it. do it too. We do it to her too. All the time. We talk shit. Don't we be like, come I on. Be looking we just getting some air. Here's my right, thing. We right. just getting some air. You season. As long as you here we just some to air. be able to respond, I'm just, I just come from a different grade. 
No, I understand that, but this is not. This I is get it, teasing. Rio. I want to cut you out later. Defend herself, but mm-hmm. I wasn't going to say nothing on air. I'm What's a red room? room? But you know what? A lot. The red room. To, What's the red anything. room? Sound like a room where you be fucking. <laughs> As Mark Anthony <laughs> says, we got to go to a red room. It's a red room. Change your life. But to go in on that topic, that is something I, I like to discuss, and not mm-hmm. not in reference to Rio, but a yeah. lot of women do do that. A lot don't know why. Who do what? They're not. They they don't like to embrace their sexuality in, in any way. I love for a woman to embrace her sexuality. Be who you are. But do it count she if right, like though. every new partner I have, I I never tell them that I give head. I'd be like, I never gave head before. They gotta learn so that. Why you gotta lie? That's the thing. Don't lie. It's not really like because no, what so happens? The head ain't that's the thing. Because now you like, put in the nigga head that. She ain't never sucked a dick. Oh, and I'm going to be the first. So he coming with some bullshit, which is probably going to fuck off the your experience. Because you you could be, and there's no disrespect, no slut out, nothing. Just You could be like A1 top notch. The line is The, the guac guac 7,010. It's like a little white line. It's a little fun line. Man, fuck don't, that. If the head ain't, if the head ain't automatic, I'm going to be looking at you I'm going to keep yeah. the line on for long. Exactly. It's only no, up I'm going to say this. If, if I can move to go down, I'm going to back like this, like. You know what time it is. Get cracked. I just want to see. see. The lie, the lie is going to come out when she starts sucking True. the crack. I just want to see. No, I might think, I might I think she's a natural. Because he's going to treat you like a princess a little think bit longer. No, I just want to see if, like, <laughs> so he going to, like, press the issue for it or if he's just going to let me stay innocent. Like no, I've learned my lesson soft about soft. that. That's that soft shit. I'm be like, oh, you never give a head before. Well, we finna introduce you with a deep throat. We finna introduce you then with a deep throat. No, because I've missed out on a lot of ass in the head being Mr. Nice Guy. Never again. My number is high and good, but I'm just saying I can admit nice I have been. I could have Will Chamberlain nice numbers if I had been hung about it several times first. No, see, that's different. Okay. That's different. I, I didn't hurt I know. it. I didn't hurt the spill. I oh, got yeah, it. I and fellas, if your numbers on it. and if your but numbers nice ain't over two hundred, make up your make up for the slack. Two hundred and what? If your numbers ain't over two hundred, like make body? up for the slack. Yeah. Body count. I ain't got yeah. Body. Wait a minute. Huh? If your if the guy's number is oh, never, I almost said yeah. So. If your number ain't over two hundred, <laughs> Meg, pick pick your weight up. Push no. your line. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say this for whoever, whatever. I don't kiss and tell. I mean. I may kiss I you on the cheek, but I don't kiss and tell. I think What's it's up, very, I'm not judging nobody how many some people they had sex with, but if you're going to go on, Bert. So, so, question. It's very gross, too. Since, okay. Since, okay. We welcome to if you, If you're a man Dude. and you had it going on, and you went to college or university, or you was in the entertainment industry, Does, and by a certain age, if you ain't caught a certain amount of bodies, then blood, I don't know what's going on with you. And you can catch bodies about. accidentally. Like you go to the club, you got a nice car, you got a train right, on, you might catch a body at night. You going on tour, you might catch a body, and after a course of a year, I don't know what he's these bodies start adding up. I don't know what he's okay, if a man if a man ain't got over if a man ain't got over two hundred bodies, you don't got it going on. That's what I'm saying. So what about a woman? Huh? So what about a woman? Well, a woman should have, and this is a double standard. Oh, and look, 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 look. I, I see the, I see the face. I see the face. This is what I'm going to say. Going to the body count conversation. And not, and not. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to give it to you. Not to necessarily engage in hypocrisy. Hey, right, Lamar. College was fun. But elementary, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, since the age of like 15 to 16, literally ran. Everything that was moving. And then in my 20s, I had paper, I was traveling, and my name was ringing. So thus, it's not like I was Body putting count. in a lot of work to put get bodies. But... You was accepting them, whether they came. So anything with a pussy even was... No, not there. everything with a pussy. I had a little bit. But the thing was, is that, is that I expect you women, like Bird, like Bird, who's an R&B singer, like Crystal, like Izzy, I expect y'all to have more discernment and more respect for yourselves than I have for myself. That's so thus, I can put up 200 numbers, but you bet not have put up more than 10 or 15. For you. Three. 10 or 15. That's, that's for selfish. You. Yeah. Five. That's I'm selfish. Gonna say, I mean, can I, I speak on it? Same, yes, please. But I'm going to say, I, I expect the same thing. I expect you to have that's some selfish. respect for yourself. I mean, you know, like... No, I'm a dude. I'm getting it in. For me personally, I can say, like, um, I had a father in my life, and I don't know if that changes things, but for me, it, it did does. to the point where I had a mom and an active father, and I always was daddy's little girl to the point where 
in my mind, self-consciously, I never wanted to disappoint my dad or have him, like, embarrassed of my actions. So it was like, I didn't do a lot of things until a late age, so a lot of things was foreign to me. Like, oh, my God, I don't do that. But it was like, growing up, it was like, I didn't want to be pregnant um, and have be a youth with a baby. I didn't want my dad used to always be like, don't give these men something to talk about. And he used to always tell me how important and precious that I was. And Mm -hmm. I was told by him at a young age, I was beautiful. I was important. So I always got that validation from my dad. So it's like, what can, with me, I always went into it. Like I already know I'm beautiful and not just about how you look. It's how I am in the inside. Mm -hmm. So it was like, what more can you offer me? Or what more can I offer you than just my body or sex? So that always was like sacred to me, you know, in a way. Mm -hmm. So. But in the immortal words of Prince, <laughs> it was Saturday night. I guess that makes it all right. Okay. But then you stand there. No, yeah. But at the same time, I never judge nobody because I know people like it's funny because I used to see my friends and different things who used to be like, oh, I had a one night stand and I used to always be envious. Like, I wish I had the nerve, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's like, and I'm not perfect by far because it's like, okay, and I'm grown now. So I'm still a daddy's girl, but at the same time, my dad can't judge me. So, but at the same time, I do feel that it's it, it's a double standard, but for man, it's different. And I, Thank you. Well, we're man, is different. Yeah. Say that again. Yeah, you paint know. And our paint stick, our dipstick. I, <laughs> I mean, I a one night society, stand is the weakness of being grown. We're expected to dip our dipstick in several paint cans to be able to please you. And mm-hmm. because, and. And this is just based on conversations I've had throughout my years. I'm 47. I'll be 48, God willing, in December. But not too many women, and I'm in forums, and I, I have conversations. I don't know many women that will look at, I think the way, I'm going to preface what of my statement. I think the way women looking at dealing with somebody with a low body count, based on the conversations I've had with men and women, you shouldn't want is different low body count. from mm-hmm. women towards men i think women want men more experience mm-hmm. not saying you got to have a hell of a hell of a hell of a body count they want experience in knowing what how to doing? push those yes. buttons when men look at it they oh, I want i don't want somebody who's had i want to you know women well, look i think women look no bad at dudes experience. with low body counts want, no, we don't. experience i'm just speaking on the conversations yeah. i've had mm-hmm. i think from the conversations I had, women look at low body count bad at men as opposed to we do. Men, we like, you got low body count, hey! There ain't too many motherfuckers taboo with it. Women like, nigga, you ain't really probably did shit. Right. No, what are your thoughts? If you're a man, if you don't you have a large body count, you didn't have you guys, going on. I want you three women, I want y'all opinion on that statement. I mean, personally, I feel like it's not that depending on if you've been with a lot of people or not, I just feel like when you with me, I just don't want you to be for everybody, no matter what you did. You know what I'm talking about? Because nobody want no man looking at everybody. But if you experience and you've experience and you been with a different type of woman, don't come to the bedroom dry, though, and you don't know what you're doing. And yeah. I have to teach you something. Yeah, you've been with these and, you've but, been with these different But don't you want to choose, exactly exactly choose a man who's got it going on? And a man who's got it going on gets it in because there's... Such a That's pool to tap in. True. When you're in your 20s, there's 104 Friday and Saturday nights of the year. If you're in the oh. club, you got the crack and you pull in, you that nigga, your name buzzing, you got some paper in your pocket, you're not an all the way hurt Quasimodo looking <laughs> nigga, you're going to you're gonna accumulate women even without effort. I mean, I, I, I agree when you're looking good and you smell smelling good, women will flock to you because they Thank feel you. you got it going on. So mm-hmm. you are subjected to more women than just the average local joker, you know. Thank so, you. But it's up to a man to decide whether as if I'm going to tap into all these women because you don't want to have, have that so at 25. Be, you don't. But some men do because mm-hmm. some people are a little mature and then they've been around the block where they're like, Them niggas what? was lying. They was. When I was 25, I was hitting everything moving. Well, yeah. Keep going. Except for fat chicks. I ain't fuck with fat chicks. What's wrong with the fat chicks? That wasn't just how I see it. You know what I mean. (laughs) Each one of them had an opportunity to respond. I I don't care for your body count. Don't care to know. Don't care to know how many people you've been around with. None of that. Mm -hmm. But my thing is, you are gonna have to be seasoned. But at the same time, you could be seasoned with all these other different women, but you ain't seasoned with me. So me compared to them is still different. You probably could have done six different positions for them. I only probably require 
three. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, you going to have to learn what I like in my body regardless of how many bodies you have. I can tell you, like, for me, like, it took me a long time to figure out sex a little bit. (laughs) Like, Mm -hmm. for real. Like, Mm -hmm. when I first started, like, humping, like, you would get me like, (laughs) Mm -hmm. oh, shit. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, it took me. And so from that point... To like actually doing it <laughs> to them from like okay you my girl and we living together to like doing it raw like that's a whole broad ass <laughs> spectrum yeah, like you know what I mean like you have to I'll as a man you have to have got it in or your wife gonna leave you bro. I, I agree <laughs> yeah. with that, but what I Say do that. agree with, <laughs> I don't care about. I don't care about who you've been with. Or none of those none of those things. Those things don't matter to me. But if your goal is to push towards a certain number that's over 200. No, I'm just saying accumulating in life. If you're like, because you say you need to get your body count up. Like, if that's if that's your realistic goal, that's a problem for me. No, let me put the, let me preface that with a context. Yeah, all, 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 joke, all jokes to the side because there's people there's people that's watching that respect me like Jesus like Jesus Christ and, and they the they black like, man for. So let me context that. But in they do want to hear the truth though. In mm-hmm. this, let me, I'm gonna give it to you straight. Mm-hmm. In this world, I've seen life not going on, mm-hmm. being broke. Born, he was good. You know, not not having it, and I've seen life having it. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you something. True. Having it is much better than not having it. Mm-hmm. And one of the indicators, and this is, and don't get me wrong, ladies. Speak your peace. This is a very superficial indicator. Mm-hmm. It's very superficial. I want y'all to know that this is superficial. So I'm not saying my value is based on that. But one of the very superficial indicators is, is when you go certain places, when you do certain things, women on your line. That's one of the true indicators if you got it popping. And you should have it popping. Now, I say, as a mature man, Mm -hmm. you should have the discernment Mm -hmm. to let certain shit go. You know, like, don't hit them all, right? Mm -hmm. But if you walk in the room... Mm-hmm. And there's a whole bunch of women in the room, and you're not finding yourself able to hit a lot of them. A lot of them not jocking you. They're not following up with you. Mm-hmm. That means you don't got it going on, and that means that there's certain things in your life. Because the women are true mm-hmm. barometer if you are doing things in life. Now, I don't say take advantage of it and have sex with everybody. Mm-hmm. Even though that's what I did in my 20s, but I didn't have the proper guidance. I didn't have a nigga like me to say, blood, slow down. But I'm telling you, you, I could have told you. If, if you, when you go in the room and the women ain't on your line, the women ain't jocking you, the women ain't calling you, the women ain't saying don't what's up with you, room. then that means, that means that you're not to the pinnacle that you might think you are and you need to tighten yourself up. That means something about your presentation, something about the paper you got in your pocket, the way you carry yourself is not enticing the opposite sex. Mm -hmm. And that's a sign to you that you do not, do not have it the way you need to have it. And that's not necessarily an indication of you need to have sex with everybody, but you damn sure need to be able to have people saying, I admire him. Oh, I like him. Hey, what's up with you? Then you know, okay, I got it going on. But would that that mean you're um, surrounded, you came into a room full of clout chasers? Not necessarily. Because you could go into a church. You could go into a, your job. Really? And this and that. And if all the women don't like you, if all the women don't like you, blood, you might want to tighten up on this shit. Like, women aren't church. going to go to anyone who, you know, I mean, women look at it as you dress decent. I'm not saying you got to be a designer whore or nothing mm-hmm. like that, but you dress decent, you smell good. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, me personally, energy. too, you got some nice tea. Like, those okay. are the things I look yeah. at. You're not finna go to the one that's, you know, I mean, just because he buzzed down designer, that don't necessarily mean he got money. He could. I was just, just gonna you know, say because things could be misleading. Like for instance, you may see somebody who got on their best gear and they looking like a million. Yeah. They going outside to a nice car, and you know you are fooled by the perception of what you think they got going on, right. and really they don't have that shit. They got to use you. Mm-hmm. And like when I was growing up in high school, it used to be the dudes who I used to go to Castlemont for. Sure. Just to say, but dudes used to, to pass by. Mom. Hey, shout out to Casama. But dudes used to pass by in a nice the form, and girls used to be so impressed. And it's like, is that mm-hmm. all it takes to get you? And don't get me wrong, image is positioning, but it was like, it was mm-hmm. more than that for me. But those are younger like, women. And sometimes is, I run into a lot of young dudes I mentor who be like, damn, OG, I'm having trouble with the ladies, and this and that, this and that. And I'd be like, blood, there's some aspects you got to tighten up on yeah. your game. Mm-hmm. Because if you tighten your game up, mm-hmm. you're going to have 
10 to 15 women on your line. Now, I'll give them the wisdom from my perspective of don't try to hit all 15 of those women because it's not worth it. This and that. In fact, some of them might be cool networks and resources, this and that. Be cool. But see, that's talking as a as a mature man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I will tell them, I'll tell any young man, if you go in places and they ain't on your line, yeah. Blood, something, something. I mean, nowadays, you gotta tighten up yourself. There are men who have the nicest cars and mm -hmm. the nicest jewelry and the nice, you know. As a man, you but it's carry so yourself a certain way. Yeah. It's so easy to put on a fake chain because these real women, they, these women who aren't real, right. real they women, and I ain't just say that, but they'll look. You can have on a fake chain and they be on you. Don't even know that that chain is fake. It just came from Durant. It could be you can Ooh, go now rent a car from Toro <laughs> or go rent a rental car mm -hmm. and be looking nice for the right. weekend, and a woman, a woman will be on you. So it's so easy to. Fabricate your life now. Well, that's where the and discernment comes in right. for the men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like to me, it takes more than that. Because the yeah. thing is, what do you True. bring to the table? Even with me, like you may see a nice smile, like you may, but I may have a whole bunch of battles, demons that I'm battling mm -hmm. with that right. you don't even Facts. know. Besides what you think is sexy or what you think, I may mm -hmm. be crazier than a motherfucker willing right. to blow you and your mama and your kids up, cause cause havoc in your life. And a lot of times with men, they don't look beyond the beauty. And a lot of times, that's not just right. men, right. but with You're women right. as well, that's men and they women. see. It's all about the visual, but they it's like what's behind that, and that's why with me, you got to bring more to the table than that. Like, do you read? I mean, yeah. I ain't never no, walked up to no, a weird looking chick and be like, "Say, baby, um, I'm like, Right. And I mean, yeah. you know, what I mean, we all I guilty mean, of that. But does, I do feel what you're saying. It right? also does go back to what she was saying as far as having a dad in her life. Now, my dad was not like an active father like yours. You know, how dad should have been. My dad was a real pimp. So it was like, you know, <laughs> I was getting yeah. No, I mean, I get real. I was, I was getting. Right. Right. <laughs> I was getting dropped off to school to in North Oakland in three different Rolls Royces throughout the week. Mm -hmm. There's nothing now a man could do oh, as me. far as cars, clothes, or right. money that can impress me. And, and that's your dad did his job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so he did his job in that aspect. He and, always and, told and, me exactly. it was just two rules. Don't give no black man and make sure he can take care of you and you can take care of yourself as well. Yeah. Do not depend that. on him. Even mm -hmm. being the fact that he had, you know, mm -hmm. quite a few gang of hoes. You know, his dad was like, these women can do this without me. End of the day, mm -hmm. that was all that he taught. So mm -hmm. it's like I respect that. women don't get looked at as in that. the club. I mean, because me personally, I have designer pieces here and there, but I'm not a designer whore. I'm not going to be Dior, mm -hmm. all of that. I'm like I'm just not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Fashion them. Nova's is lit. Never, pretty little thing is my place. But I'm saying mm -hmm. women don't get looked at as. Like a dude not finna be in a club like, all right, she ain't got no designer on. Hell she must no, be broke. Nah, she ain't got no nothing. Nah. You know like, what the hell you look like? That. But you know what's so crazy? Women like, think damn. that men do. Like I was actually having this question, I mean, this this conversation with my friend, where I'm like, um, the way men think that, I mean, the way women think that men think is entirely different. Like look women, Rayford, women <laughs> will um make comments like this. Like I okay, there was a, there was this viral video that went um, there was uh, a video that went viral, Steve. and a lot of women were upset about it, oh, but they no. didn't watch the full video in its entirety. Mm -hmm. And what the dude said was, um, he was like, he was talking to a female, and she was like, I have a good job, I have um, I have a, I have my own house, I have this, etc. Mm -hmm. All I need is a um, all I need is a man. And he was like, she don't realize that what she said had just disqualified her, and all the women just went crazy about it, but they didn't really watch the full video within its entirety. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what he was saying. Well, I'm not going to go into what he was saying, but some, I was having another conversation with someone, and she kind of basically said the same thing. She was like, you know, well, I do have this. I got a, I got a nice job. I mean, I could make a little bit more money. You know, I have this. And it was all the superficial things that men don't give a fuck about. Mm -hmm. Like, not you saying fuck. men don't care about women looking good, because obviously presentation is everything right you have to we're like what you, but look, you guys are hold on hold on you guys are you guys are physical you know physical yeah, creatures but damn my thing just made me forget what i was about to say hold on oh, my bad. i think women hold are worse than men no, no guys let her get her point say? on no get your point across go ahead you guys are physical creatures what was i about to say what you oh man from my so from what i think men look for things like are you able to be submissive? Mm -hmm. Are you able yep. to be feminine? Do you yep. know what it's like to have to live within your feminine essence? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to not really like care, like hold a home, but do you know how to allow a man to be masculine, allow him to be dominant? Allow, mm -hmm. I feel like those things are more important. And women will be like, well, I have this job. I have this. I have this, this, this. And that men don't really care about. Right. And You're not right. to cut you off, but that's what I want to speak on. But you touched it before I could. Don't get me wrong. Like me. 
I'm independent. I grew up in a household where my mother was very submissive. I had a father who used to come home and he used to bring his check and give it to my mother. Mm -hmm. And so she was able to take care of the bill. But she also was very submissive to my mother. And me, my parents taught me to be a very strong independent woman that with or without a man you can take care of yourself yeah mm -hmm. but and i know how to go out there and get it i know how to be a woman i know how to be classy but i enjoy being submissive to yeah. my man and the thing about it is i want to be submissive to my to man be. so mm -hmm. it's like people be getting it twisted when they be like oh these women are so independent these days they don't know how to be submissive i don't know i enjoy cooking i'll cook to my man cook for my man i enjoy giving you a massage i enjoy rubbing your feet if you had a good a hard day i enjoy calling you making sure you're okay <laughs> and catering to my man so even though i'm this big, uh, strong, uh, independent I woman. Was I'm something. also love being like submissive to my man and making my... sure my man is okay. I yeah. like to cook you yeah. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And even though I work hard and I'm always busy like throughout said, the day, the I want to make sure you ate. And times, even if I go you'll, out you'll, with my girls, I want to make sure my man is okay first see, because I'm coming thing. home to you. But everybody ain't that way, and that's why certain everybody people be getting twisted. Like because you have to meet the right woman. So that's why I say like. We be so tied into the visual. We be so tied into, like, when you see a man who you think he got his thing going on, or you see a woman with a big butt and this and that, but you don't actually take the, the time to bet. Yeah, or the big purse, purse or the bet. designer clothes, or the designer this. And don't get me wrong, I understand, like, through different age levels, there come different experiences and different knowledge of how you react and what you're going after. But it's like, before you let somebody in, get somebody into your life and you really take it there it's like who are you bringing into your life and certain people they be so infatuated with looks or what you got going on and then five years later when you didn't build a life for somebody you waking up looking like who is this right. or you know who is this man from? you know that really stems from people not really taking the time to get to know themselves mm -hmm. first oh definitely because when you don't know that you operate from a surface level standpoint when you can't when you when don't you love don't, yourself you can't love nobody but you can't on, love is nobody, that a black also, thing because a lot of other races don't like they drive the Punious cars, they don't dress, they shop it. it definitely at, but that goes black. back to what I say. Where is that? I'm not in front of you. And they still yeah. knock the baddest bitches. And I'm like, no. how did you look at your presentation? It's horrible. Because because it's not. Different and she upbringing. like this like, on him, like, it's like, all right, we going the, to this white ass house, though. Because, no, because, you know, like, you know why? Why? because people who look at stuff like that. They're not betting because because you can look at I, people. It be, I be with women and I be with people that I'm close with and a dude which I talk to me and they'll be like, uh -uh, don't talk to me. Like, girl, mind your business because Thank I've you. talked to I've like talked that. to men Ugh. who drove trash ass cars and they yeah. were mm -hmm. fuck, they was fucking loaded. But that also exactly. had to do with our upbringing loaded, because but they like, were they were sweet. Our values and morals and I love things. my yeah. black people. I love them. Don't get me wrong. I would never um down them or anything but I know, I upbringing I be I different like for instance um different race raise their kids to invest in different stuff we don't raise our um not saying we as a whole but no, a lot of us whole. yeah well yeah the certain values that other people put the other people not mm -hmm. other people but you know put the into their people. child we yeah. don't and so therefore like we be wanting our kids to be rappers, basketball players, but it's so much more in the world to be. Doctors, yeah. lawyers, um, scientists, you know, like, give them the opportunity to be them and then, like, invest in mortgage, houses, stocks, and different stuff. We don't even show them that. So, therefore, when different races get to a certain age, it be like, I know what I have to do. I know what the goal is. You know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? But when we get to a certain age, you be like, oh, let me see the, the who's a ball player, who's this. And right. that's why we be so caught up in the cycle of what he look like or what he have on. It be millionaires walking with some dirty tennis shoes on, yeah. some faded but jeans. Is that I black, black, but, is that, but is that black women's fault? Because a black woman expects the male to be uh, alpha. A see, I can speak for But the thing is, I want my man to be a leader. I want you to show me the way because the thing is, don't get me wrong, we can teach off each other, but at the end of the day, if you say, and you adamant about it, and you not on some clown shit, and you say, don't do this, I'm not going to do it. Because here's, here's I'm, I'm following though. my man. And Barney I'm not saying all black men. Yeah, and don't get me wrong. I, well, I'm trying to, I don't oh. know. Hold on, let me, can I make one comment? I Go love ahead. my black this, men. This is my thing. <clears throat> this, is, this is what I want to say. Even this, this is the catch. I, this I, is, this is, even right. even this is the whole Kisha. thing. First, the disclaimer. I do too. The way I dress, the way I look, the way I try to be has nothing to, to do, do with in your mind. Nobody. Or what you think. Yeah, it's okay. just the way I want to be. I don't yeah. give a fuck what y'all do. Like, this is the way I want to be. And I always have an image that I probably will never reach in my life that I want to be. But I, oh, set, but I keep right. moving forward. Yeah. My whole mm -hmm. point yeah. is like, 
I would respond. I've been to I went out plenty of times before in my life where I just had on like a hoodie and like some some shoes that I wore for a couple years or or whatever. A bitch ain't said nothing to a nigga. Like nothing like Hey, what's up? What's happening? Oh, you look you look good or how are you doing today? But let a nigga be fitted and let a nigga be fly. And now they all standing by me, bumping me, putting their ass on me, acting no, like I can't want to say that. I seen it. I'm with it. <laughs> And it's like, as a man, so what do you prefer? Keisha, do you Keisha prefer to be like Keisha, that? Nigga, that's like that. not, nobody saying I mean, that. And I'm not saying like, dress Keisha regular. Said, I'm saying no, like, yeah, I've literally know. gone out like in some mummy faded shit before just because and like, I was going to different. kick it with somebody. And I, I don't give a fuck. I love when I'm and ain't nobody and give a fuck. But when I'm flying, like, bitches throw me. You know what I mean? No, I get it. Keisha said, and she said something else above, and I agree with it. She said, most black folks don't have to agree. She said, most black folks don't don't ever prop their own culture but always big up other races other races I, I big up us on. And what I will say is I agree with that. Um, I think that it is I'm a lot of us that do a lot of us, a lot of that when we're talking. We'll be like, black people don't ever do this, or black people don't ever do that. Even if that is true, I don't I even feel like we should even speak in that way because if you say things enough, it'll become our it will become you our, put our, in it'll the become universe. our environment. That, I think uh, so but I like, think that we should what? speak on the truth. Yeah, I think that exactly. don't get me wrong. We need to speak. We need to start speaking on the truth. We need to start holding each other accountable, yeah, and we need to start making some changes. Yes, because true. it be people from different races who came from nothing and didn't have the opportunities that we had, and they make a way out of nowhere. It'd be different races who'll go stay 50 of them in a the house and then all of a sudden, 10 years later, they'll all have a house and property and building. And don't get me wrong, I love my black people. I would never disrespect them. And I'm all for black power, yeah. black everything. But at the same time, we need to start holding each other accountable. Exactly. We be the main one who be hating okay. on ourselves that's and that be what's holding us. Can we disrespect? So, can I say something? No, go ahead. I'm not negating that fact. No, no, I know. I'm, 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 not, I'm not negating the fact that we do need to hold, hold ourselves accountable. But there's so many Many platforms and so in social media where people are doing that all the time. Oh, yes. We're always talking about what we're not doing. And what I'm saying is, yeah. there's too much of that. There's a lot of people always talking about what black people don't do this. Black men do this. What black women do this. We we're need more people saying, we, yes, we are one, of, we are one of the strongest cultures that there is, but not we don't apply ourselves. We are, we are the are, strongest. That's why I said we are the strongest culture that there is. We don't apply ourselves and we don't come together. Unity will change things and people start condemning condemning us because we condemn us. And don't get me wrong, I hate when I see in the news where it'll be black on black crime, then a, a different race will come along and be like, well, how do you expect us to respect y'all? Y'all don't respect yourself and get the hell out of here. But at the same time, that is true. Somebody will only respect I you if you respect yourself. How can you ask for respect when you're not doing it? We we are the mo we are the race that mostly hate ourselves and love and don't even love ourselves. Most races stick together, they love ourselves. We'll turn our back like for instance, we'll see somebody doing something and we won't even support them and that's mm -hmm. where it starts yep. one small move You're can right. change everything and You're then the thing right. about it is they'll say the other race respect our black man won't we start doing it if you see a black man down instead of looking at what he got on or his shoes and trying to condemn him or trying to um, hold him back or tear him down because one thing I know like if I'm feeling down and somebody else come along and make me feel that I don't need help to feel like nothing so if you strong enough and be like, I'm not going to let this person bring me down, then okay. But if you already down, it's easy for somebody else to beat you down and you feel like I'm already down, so where else is there to go? Mm -hmm. We need to start uplifting each other. And if you see somebody doing that, or even if your man, your man is doing down, I mean, being down or whatever, and he cheating on you, instead of this and that, and I'm not saying accept that, but start being a better woman. Like, not saying it like that, but instead of saying, yeah. you cheating on me and what do you with this, what are you not doing right he now? Better and, stop and if him you from doing everything... Yeah, if you doing everything you supposed <laughs> to do, Chef Fran, what's up, bro? Absolutely refuses. What I'm saying is, all yeah. those things are true. Yeah. And even with black women, let's start up lifting our black women. All you those know? things yeah, are true, I, I but all, all the, time. the environment that job. I surround is I've, I'm That's seeing something different from from me personally. I'm not saying all those things aren't true. They are very much true, but. I will. You ever walked I will, up to a bummy looking nigga in the club? Though I will never. I will never saying, put. Though. I will never, never put that? power to that. Like right now, I'm. In, I'm a part of this group. Um, it's this dude called Sleepers for Suckers. His name is David Shans. Mm -hmm. He has about probably like I, I don't know maybe podcast. a thousand. I don't know maybe a thousand. I'm in his his group. It's, it's probably a thousand I'm people now, if not more. And it's more. I watch they're, this all, they're all around the world, okay, and it's full of it's full of black people supporting each other. It's full mm -hmm. of us having conversations that are only positive. Shout out to so him. If we put, Shout I'm out. not saying not put light to that, but I want to put more light to things that we are doing because if we focus on those things, we will not get anywhere. 
you. I, if, I if, we po- if we focus on thinking of things from a stereotypical standpoint and not even stereotypical, putting no. so much attention to all those things, like we're not going to yeah, get it. So basically, we're saying them. the same thing, though. The yeah. thing that I'm saying is the reason why people say these things is because it's true. Like for instance, when, when you go to a store and, and or even. Uh, the others say, right. well, like, to the instance of, oh, they're just going to act ghetto or they're going to do this. Nine times out of ten, not trying to be funny, like, that's what you're going to see. Instead of someone saying, you know what, I have common sense. I don't have to get loud. I don't have to disrespect you to get my point across. You know, I can talk to you like a civilized human being mm-hmm. and still get my point across. And that's why certain people look at us a certain type of way. And I'm not saying it's right Sizzle. because do whatever Reed you want to do. And I, the thing is, what I'm saying is we all should support positivity. We all should motivate and support one another, whether it's a male or a female. But I'm just saying that we need to start doing that before we demanding it and our community is not doing that. So, yeah. You can't demand something and say, that you better respect me as a woman, but I'm out here being a hoe and sleeping mm. with every each and everybody. Because mm. how can I respect, I mean, demand the respect of being a woman when I'm out here not carrying myself as a woman? You can't sit up there and say, you better respect me as a man, but you're not carrying yourself as a man. Because mm-hmm. then you just out here on some foo-foo stuff. Yeah. And you're not standing up to what you believe in. And that's the thing about us. And don't get me wrong, I love who I am. I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. But at the same time, we need to start putting action behind what we're trying to stand for. And once we do that, then when we come... I stand for what I believe in, and mm-hmm. you can't give me nothing more than what I came for, and I'm leaving with what I came for, and that's respect, because I came with respect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and if you don't come with respect, you can't expect nobody else to give you respect. And don't get me wrong, you can come with respect, and people don't respect you, but it's a different scenario, because I came with respect, and that means you want some ignorant stuff. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, now it's more so I mean, you understand like, what I'm uh, saying? No, I definitely I'm, get what you're saying, I'm a, I'm a, but I think the problem is... Black people, and I mean, I don't mean to say it in a bashing way, but black people look for val- validation through other black people. Yeah. And that's kind of where you go wrong. Like, I was literally just having this conversation, and um, someone was asking me, like, well, you know, you work in Oakland. Why don't your sister um, go to school in Oakland? And I was like, she will never go to school in Oakland. I would rather her stay in Manteca at an all-white school where I'm pretty sure it's maybe 10 or less black kids because my sister likes to wear Converse and Vans and ride a skateboard and you know, do whatever she did, whatever creative things she likes, ceramics and all of that. My thing is, I put her in a school as I work at, at Tech. Now she's going to be like, well, damn, they talk about my shoes because I'm not wearing Jordans or I'm yeah. not, I don't got the latest Yeezys on or I don't got this. So now she's going to be looking for validation with her peers. That's part of the system, though. This yeah. Is, you know, this is what they're doing, and this is what it's supposed to look like, and this is how you're supposed to act, and this is what you're supposed to do. But you can't blame that validation. But you can't blame that on black folks because the no, that's the, the, pow- the power oh. structure that sends certain messages to oh. that that brainwashes oh, right. us. To they uh, there's a certain yeah, imagery no. that they implant to us, so we're just seeing it regurgitate it back. So you can't even blame the young black youth but for holding I her to a certain him. standard because <laughs> the powers that be are imprinting. I a blame thing. it on them in a way because it's like <laughs> black people always gotta make it look like we like you have to have money. And like she was saying earlier, millionaires is out here walking around in Skechers. See, I understand that. They part don't too. care about mm-hmm. that. You know, that's not what they're looking for. So it's We're like because I yeah. But we do dress up. And then, I mean, yeah, <laughs> what you said goes back on based upon what he said as well. Like, it's a different scenario, but it's yeah, the same because the thing is, if somebody see you looking good, yeah, smelling good, and think you have it, then that's what we based upon. Right. You're a real man, or I want to look at you. But like he just said, when he didn't went certain places thinking... and looked a certain way, he didn't got different responses based upon when exactly. he looked a different way. And by no shape, mean, or form, let me say this right now, am I taking away yeah. of our history, what we've been through, the hurt and the turmoil yeah. we've been through? We've been through a lot with slavery and everything. But it's like now it's time not to Thank get you. over There's it. There's some institutionalized yeah. problems. It's a that lot we of institutionalized overcome. problems that we need to overcome. But we can start with the problem by loving and supporting and picking each other up. It be times where I walk down the need? street, I'm friendly, and I'll see certain oh, black people, and not just black people, but my own kind and my oh, own people, charged, and they want me to say hi or whatever. Yeah. And I'll look and be like, "Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Let's start with let's start with That's that. That would change things. Hey, how you doing today, ma'am, sir, or whatever? Instead of walking down the street thinking. Oh, she's hating on me, or he's hating on me, or oh, he just want to do this. Let's start embracing our black queens 
yeah. and our black kings. And before yeah. anybody else can, let's do it with each other. But we don't, and we expect that, though. Yeah, Shizzle has a good point to that. What was you saying, Shizzle? Hold on. I'm, and I'm, now I'm, 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 on, I'm, I'm responding to comments because I got a, we we got a hell of comments that I want to. Come on, Shizzle. We can't say that we don't because that's just honestly... That's not just black people. It's that's not. that's that's everyone out here. California out here is just different in general. But we only can speak right now. We in the room with black people. No, what so I'm we can only is, speak upon ourselves. But what, hold on, let me finish. Let me finish what I'm saying. Okay. I'm saying what I'm saying because what you're saying could almost be jaded in a sense because you're speaking from environment. Environment is, is environmentally what you're speaking. It's, it's where you are. It's the circumference of your space, right? This is California. But when you step out of California and go other places, mm-hmm. you will see that it's entirely different. It's not. It's, 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 because I would say Houston, and I love Houston, but I'm saying they their unity within their culture is way different. It's different. They, it's, if it's, you know, a black person that owns a restaurant, he hiring his people. Houston, no. New I Orleans. Different, different mindset. Oh, I, Houston, True. New Orleans. I, I've been to other places where, and it's, it's not, it, like, it's the same way, Um, I, what you're talking about, I've experienced that with not just black people, and like you said, we are in the room of black people, but what I'm saying is, I'm referencing this to everyone because it's not just black people. I'm just saying this is a, this is a cultural thing. Of, of California, mm-hmm. but once I step out of other places and I see how other black people are with me, it's entirely different. It's an entirely different type of... Um, but ladies, that's what I'm saying. Uh, we can step outside of California. I, I'm a traveler. I've traveled all around the world. So, if we go to Atlanta, they embrace me. They love me. When you talk about when you go to Houston, they embrace me and love me. But we can talk to somebody in Houston, the same people who got these restaurants and they embrace their black people, they still have these problems, but on a different magnitude. Everything mm-hmm. is always magnitude. They can, you, We can go talk to somebody from Houston, and we're just not dealing with this problem in California. That's why you see when these different um, black young males is getting murdered and different stuff by white officers and stuff, it's not just in California. This is all over the world so it's bigger than just that i'm just saying that if we if we take the different states out of it and we just take us as a people as far as loving and embracing each other and doing the bare minimum or saying hello how you doing and looking out for each other it takes people from other cultures to come along and put us in a position to win. It be your own people who all it takes is now Instagram, social media is big. It takes your own people who won't even post you, and all that takes is a few seconds, but they'll go post they, the latest rapper. They'll go post this, and that's what I'm saying, that it's bigger than a different state because I travel, and I've been to Louisiana. As soon as you come in, when when people be like, where are you from? Who your kin folks? As soon as you say kin folks, they know your grandmother. They know your dad. They know this and that. So they treat you with nothing but respect, but you can go talk to those same people who don't who love their culture and will still have problems with why we not together as a unity or why we're hating on each other. You can go to people in Louisiana, the soft, wherever you go, and it still be the same people who we're not together as a, a unit. And if we did, we would get way more further. It'd be people who uh, come uh, out here. Keisha, I'm, 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 fin- I'm trying to reel it to that. So from, here's your comment. I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. Be okay, go ahead. I've been, yeah. I, I, and, you know, it's free-flowing, so y'all got the forefront. I'm, I'm with the Free flowing conversation. Sorry, I'm just going. No, no, it's good. No, because it's a shit. We we was supposed to. We just going. But once again, I lo- I love when it's free flowing conversation. We sit back and we just talk, and is what it is. So Keisha, I'm I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit your last question you asked because I'm gonna keep it current. She says, so what issues do other races have that we can speak on besides racism? I'm sorry, what? But that's the thing. They don't let us know. They, the issues of other races. It, that's the thing. They don't let us know. Our issues come forward because we be so held on. And then the thing is, we so we so caught up in Izzy, how other races treat us, tailpipe. but we not concentrating on how we treat each other. But First, the flip side to that, though, is it that we as black people are more in tune, though. We're on Facebook no, with other we people. Are in tune. We're on social media oh, no, posts with other black people. Hey, so we don't even know real. what's we don't even know what's going. Well, me personally, I'm gonna speak for everybody. I don't know what's going on in the white community and the Asian community. I don't have any friends and or associates over there. I'm going to go ahead. Say what so y'all saying. If we start question, loving each other, it's going to be in there for each other. Go ahead, Crystal. What are you saying? Go to ahead, actually please. answer her question, I mean, because I have um, friends that are other races also. I do black. Too. Who do I love. You? Yeah, to love them to death. My thing is, their main problems that I always hear. How close are y'all? Very, very, very close. Yeah, I got very, very close. Like, been knowing them since young. Like, I have Hispanic, I have white friends. I mean, I have a mixture of friends. But Asian, their main things are 
Not me. Things that we avoided because black people usually grow up in the hood. So they have like badass anxiety. They have like horrible communication. They can't express themselves. It'd be little minor stuff to us because growing up in the hood, it was like, you what you had, had yeah, you know, on. we you was going to talk your shit. You said what you said. And, you know, we didn't have a problem expressing ourselves. Like, they have those kind of issues. They're not with the, like, oh, let hey, me right, Keisha, look to I'm my friends speak on that. for, you know, validation because they look like me. Like, no, they don't care about that. And what's sad you know? is we are who we are, and so many people condemn us, but the same people that condemn us look. condemn their kids and stuff try so hard to be like us. Mm-hmm. They get. I used to get teased for having a big lip. I used to be teased for having a big nose. I used to be teased for having a big forehead. But nowadays, people getting shot, shot in their lips to have never, big lips. Understand why you have big lips? But I, I, I respect it now. I'm gonna give you the science. Oh no, give me the science. The science I want to hear. Speak on it. Speak on it. Take in more air because be why? Scientific. Because the air. The oxygen that you breathe into your lungs is rarity and purified, and the more you take in is the nobility of you as the essence of who you are. And your lips is for for you to kiss your king. And when you eat your fruit, for Yo, you. Okay. I'm going to make it halfway sexual this situation. Nigga, but no, I'm, I, was just, I was being honest and joking, but but here's something to to my, my frat brother, yes, Keisha. Cologne, and Keisha saying. The thing, the question, because I'm, I'm, I'm we're going to, yeah, we didn't went super duper, yeah, but to 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 their point. Fuck it, let's get the, it. Uh, the, as far as the issues with other races, say. other races don't put all their issues on blast the way we do. Or do we know they if they do? They protect each other. No, I don't know. I I I because we not on they listen to we not on their Facebook, we not on their Twitter, what, so we I'm, don't know I if have, they doing it or not. I have. Since I was a, I mean, a you young, white friend, so. since I was knee high to a grasshopper yeah, with ices, yeah. and and when one person yeah. caught chicken pox, yeah. you all caught chicken pox. I never got chicken pox. Oh, oh, it's gonna suck for you Ooh, when you I get did. my you age. Never got it. Wow. So no, but lightweight. A lot of races, we're we're outspoken. Mm-hmm. Double-edged sword. Because we put out. Our we call out we we put. Our dirty laundry out true, true. faster than anybody. Mm-hmm. Even on misunderstandings and stuff that should not be brought out, what we think shouldn't be brought out, don't get me wrong, for the healing of some people, yeah, you do need to speak on, so I'm not trying to tell everybody to, to a hush up and what, I, but I'm just saying, as a whole, from my experience, and I have. I have friends in several different races and different. Not me. I I do. <laughs> and we cool. I have. I'm 47. I have four. I I I'm, I can say right now. I have friends that I've had for 40 years. Friends, and I'm Black not talking about that. And if you brown, stick around. I've had, I've had friends that have, I've I've had friendships with for over 40 oh, years and are still around. And we recently oh, lost one, but. When I look at it culturally, we put each other on blast faster, whether right or wrong, quicker than anybody else. Okay, let me ask you this. Were people saying about... The, let's just bring up that Will Smith situation where they saying that Ooh, Will Smith. Any of y'all speaking you, you against want, Will, you yeah. I've been avoiding because okay. I'm going to get on them niggas no, so say, hard. They said that, I'm so they over said, that. They said Will Smith slapped a black man and they said that if it was a white man, he wouldn't have acted that same way. Bullshit. Do you guys believe that? I believe that it was with anybody. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. And I believe anybody could have got it. And all you niggas that's going on the social media speaking against Will, Will Will got 35 years of representing us correctly. So so at one time, my brother steps out of character, and y'all going to basically disown okay. him or dismiss him? You, you, you really? Fuck that. You really? Really? Mm-hmm. Well, you really? Well, you guys, yeah. thank you We'll be representing me. us correctly oh, for 35 years. Speaking. According to whose Sorry. rules? Sorry. Thank you guys for having me. I ain't mad at Will, you ain't but I ain't happy for Will either. I enjoyed y'all. It's been a nice time. Because you got to get past me. You ain't going out this way. You ain't going this way. I can go this way. You got homework? You yeah, I got to Hold on. My homework well, at before you, okay, so hold on. Yeah. Tell everybody. You, you, Look at this this is Izzy from you. Section Open Podcast. Go. Please tell them where they can find you, social media. So you can find me on Instagram and, no, and she's educated. Instagram. Yeah, don't give Isabel me Eisner with a Z, I-Z-A-B-E-L-E-I-S-N-E-R. Watch us oh. in Sex in Oakland. This is my 
co-host over here. And Hi. she's educated. Crystal with the H. Big H. Big H. Big H. Big H. It's been a pleasure. I've enjoyed you guys. I yeah. enjoyed you. Did you enjoy us as much as we have enjoyed you? Of course. I don't think so. They might have you alone. Okay. Tell these no folks where you're from again. <laughs> Thank so they know. Cute and built. <laughs> no, I'm just like. Yeah. No, you no, don't gang bang that thing. Y'all don't know about it. No, I'm just like. You're from the No, sis, I appreciate it. Because we didn't, yeah, we on super overtime. Yeah, I was going to say, y'all got something about 9 o'clock, so let's get into it. Because I think my opinion is way different than all of y'all's. Oh, how so? Y'all want to jump into the real shit? How so? I was avoiding it because I was over it. How so, Crystal? Let me know when you get home. How so? Yeah, let um, us know you made it safe, sis. We so, good. for one, right, I definitely think right. Jada deserved it. Not gonna lie. And huh? she instigated it. She Thank you. She deserved it. And she instigated it. Two, I think Will overreacted on the wrong person. Mm hmm. And three, I mean, I really feel like somebody should have probably checked on Chris because that was some fucked up I shit. I think that's what was fucked up. That yeah. nobody checked on him. Somebody no, should check on that. him. I mean, can uh, I that speak? That nigga been cooning for years. See, he been cooning. You go against the uh, grain, fuck you. But, hey, look, look. but let, he publicly did that. I, and it was let all of them okay. give their shit and we'll give uh, our... But I got some shit. Go ahead, speak. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, my thing is, you was laughing at the joke in the beginning. You been getting trolled for months like i mean years. years at that point you know like especially with the whole entanglement thing and the the mirrors thing. i mean like you've been getting dragged and you only get in drag we only know your business because, because you of your wife your wife sat there and at a red table talk blasted your whole relationship mm -hmm. publicly mm -hmm. had you on there looking crazy and stupid mm -hmm. and then had the audacity to sit there with her, you know, her arms crossed and her mouth poked out because I'm making a whole nother, let me, um, comedy. Other, oh, let me you know speak I mean? real fast. Like, that's not fair. And I mean, no. the reason why I say this is because I don't know them, but this is what I know. For one, the thing about it is you never know what's going on inside the relationship unless you're there. But from what I know and what okay. they put out there, don't for one, I feel that people keep saying um, Jada publicly embarrassed Will. But for one, she did. I knew that they she did, but... They, from what I know, they have an open relationship. They right, have an open what, marriage. That was my so, point. therefore, the point that I make about that is, in relationships, my mother always taught me, my grandmother always taught me, and my grandmother, my great grandmother, always said that in a relationship, no matter what the situation may be, it's always going to be one who love someone more than the other one love each other. And so, we all love Jada more than she loved him. So, the person who loves somebody more is always going to put up with a little more. Jada was in love with Tupac. But in certain situations, mm -hmm. you knew that it just couldn't be. And right. Will loved her more. And due to the fact he put up with a little more. And just like she said, she had entanglements. Will did too have yeah, entanglements. Yeah, she just came okay. on and spoke on it because she was having Slander. a red table. And she felt that that was fine. Which is still no excuse to um, embarrass your man. Because at the end of the day, you're supposed to stand behind your man. And at any point in a nutshell, I feel that maybe a man may cheat or whatever, but as far as being a woman, you're never supposed to disrespect your man. But you never know about what you go through when somebody leaves behind the cameras and they at home. And therefore, they got a lot of backlash based upon that. And if we take, if we just to take Jada off the picture and just put Will, what kind of man, say like for instance, if you love your wife to death and you do love her more than she loves you, wouldn't that be embarrassing and hurt to your soul to hear everybody keep condemning you and making you feel bad based upon what your well, wife said on the red that, table? No, it was three, it was, no, it and was I two, it. three Hold times on, in me, one night no though. but let me tell that's you and what, then, that's what led oh, no, up to but it, not though. only that was, chris rock good. let me tell you chris rock was supposed to be from what i heard a good friend to will and jada and then mm -hmm. but get that this. wasn't his first joke though about her and that's exactly. what i'm saying and it be certain I, stuff that I make it build up so and build up and build up to make you say and just like they saying that chris walk didn't come up chris rock didn't come up with the joke that the oscars was telling him that you have to say certain things but it's one thing to be condemned by certain people but if somebody did not say that. yeah I'm but if it was my friend i'm gonna end it Oh no, if it was my friend and somebody who stood up and, and know what I've been through and know the hardship and everything, and even if it yes. was just about alopecia. And a quick thing about alopecia, my sister suffered from alopecia. And as a woman, your hair is your crown. So it takes a lot away from you I, I, I if you don't have hair. So people saying, oh, that's not like cancer or anything. Hey, look, no. let me say this before you, you go. Before you go no, no, all y'all going to go. This, I'm the this dude Trust has me. been the one of the one. biggest icons Black Yo, man and of I all never. times you that had that. one of the it. baddest females of all times that Wait. was in an open relationship. You don't Wait. think he was fucking a hundred bitches? The exactly. nigga was the nigga was getting it but in. Was Come on, exactly. Exactly. The nigga was getting it in. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She came out and was like, "No, hold up. He fucking niggas. I'm fucking niggas. I mean, excuse me." 
fuck, he fucking females, I'm fucking niggas. Why do you think like, he still there? There we go. Speak on Exactly. Girl. Speak on That's what it was all about. Yeah. But Will no, was when that whole shit, shit like, came yeah, out, yeah, yeah, when that whole shit came out, she was she all, all that speak. nigga Will was doing his stuff right. thing, no. and he had a pass to My it. My thing is, that's And he fine. had the biggest platform. He pulling up on, every time he get out the car, it's a hundred bitches. Around him, mm-hmm. come on. No, that's true, and I'm pretty sure it's the same <laughs> for her as well. But life is no, but, but, but as a man, though, but I'm not approaching mean, Jada. Pick it. I'm not getting out the me. car and oh, just oh, being I'm like, uh, uh that's Jada. I got a chance. But females be like, shit. I'm having a big. I got the BBL. You feel me? I can fuck this nigga tonight. But Jada ain't gonna just fuck me tonight because I hop out a Lambo or whatever. Right, right. If we have an open marriage, where's the disrespect though? That's what I'm saying. Like people keep still can be discreet. Yeah. To have an open relationship means you still have rules and boundaries mm-hmm. in this open relationship. But, it don't just mean you rules get and to boundaries, go but you're not gonna sit up there and say, "Well, she can stick, she can put her dick in your in your mouth, but if she if she jacks you off at the same time, no, no." But look, she's already talked about it. The whole the whole rules and regulation was yes, it's an open marriage, but nothing becomes public. You sat there at a at a you clearly crossed your because boundaries she was because on you some sat fuck there. You, nigga no, type but look, shit. you clearly crossed <laughs> like your boundaries when you where, sat there at the going? table and said, "Yeah, I had an entanglement with August." On top of he would have known I was cheating if he loved me more. That's purely dragging your own no, husband no, no. through the mud. And You're I don't want to say who's right and who's wrong. What no, I'm, my point the is, they wrong, was fucking other people. When you fuck That's other people, up. it's like no, an uncontrolled environment. Yeah. You don't know what's going on. And then it's happen. like, my thing is, they not dragging Jada. They calling her, you know, yeah, she's city girl. Oh. She up right now. Woo, woo. You know, they putting her on a pedestal. I, they dragging please. Will because he looking like a simp sitting there knowing that I his wife was what they've been married 20 years. Is sitting here telling him, oh, he would have known that I was cheating if he loved me more. Because I didn't look at Will like he was just sitting there with his gun. That nigga probably Fuck eight bitches I didn't feel sorry but, for Will. Let me, me, let me, let me be Will for two let weeks and let's see what I do. Even if Jada did come out and say it, and they said they're dragging Will or whatever, like, how can the thing about it is, like, for instance, somebody may look at a female and her dude may be cheating on her and they be like, she hella stupid. She keep dealing with him, dealing with this. You don't know what's going on behind closed doors when you're in a relationship. So that's the only thing I'm saying. When you open yourself to we fucking whoever, and then you try to put rules on it. That ain't gonna work. I know, but let no, me tell you, you not saying it like that. But nah, due to that the fact that right, you may, you may be right. with, a, hold on, but look, you may be with a girl who you cheating on, and she may be cheating on you, and y'all may be able to go home and work it out. But it magnifies thing when you in the business. public eye, and that's what I'm saying. So when you business. in the public eye and people see what's going on, it's gonna be that exactly. a thousand I times worse, that. and that's what changes things with them. Like for instance, if they able to go home and still be together and come to the Oscar together and still able to work it out but don't then yeah put but my balls on your fucking fake ass I, red table th- but shit. no they and might have but, but, no, but, but, but let me tell you this how do you know that they she didn't say well we'll just for other couples to get a different perspective of it is it okay if we talk about this and he said go ahead still like if you go for, about it's it not about, still thank drag you. Him. Thank you. she's still embarrassed I wouldn't embarrass, embarrass my man I wouldn't embarrass my man table show. I get that but I'm saying that we saying that they still embarrass she still embarrassed her man but they're still together at the Oscars I, um, no, after that happened so that means fine. that they was able to get through it right if you still with your person that means that you was able to get it no matter how much support have been because she had more discernment in picking a partner like August, who then went and aired it out. Because over right. the course exactly. of 20 years, and I'm sure I'm there's saying. been a few other Augusts, but so, she made a bad choice, and this nigga on there, oh, Jay, so like, and then not only the, that, the, he went and made a whole song. Hold on, but tell me If this. a wife came right, to me Lamar. and she said, I'm in an open relationship, but nigga, I want you to hit it, nigga, I could be getting interrogated. And I'm going to deny it so, all the way. So, so tell me this. I don't think any of the females could have done that shit to Will, though. But they did they? they? No, but tell me this. They I got an it. NDA for you to sign. So tell me this. Fact. If you have an open marriage and your wife yeah, cheat with somebody who come out there and blast them, but you still want to be with exactly. this person, you no longer supposed to protect your wife because you decide to still be with her because she had a discrepancy that came out publicly. Fuck you that. still supposed to stay in her corner. Well, they got 20 years no, 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 That's what I'm saying. I'm so that's what I'm saying. Where people keep trying you. to say that, oh, she emb- she embarrassed Will. She did embarrass Will. I wouldn't have did it, she but at the same time, nuts. because she embarrassed him and he decided to still be with her, because he decided to be with her, he no longer supposed to respect her. She embarrassed him and they still a young 
saying that. Saying, he's still I'm supposed to stand up for his wife. He's still supposed to respect her. He's still mm-hmm. supposed to. If somebody mm-hmm. walked up and slapped the shit out of her, she's still. He's still supposed to be like this, my wife. And that's fine. If nothing, you shouldn't well, be with her. If you no longer protect her, husband, yeah, you shouldn't be with her. If you can't handle it, don't get me wrong. It's people who do some very messed up stuff in relationship. But if I say it's messed up, but you still decide to deal with that person, that's on you. But you still supposed to treat that person like a queen. You still supposed to treat that man like a king. And that's true. But when did Jada protect her husband? Well, let me give you. Let me give you some insight. Let me give you some insight into that, though, right? One of the things, though, let me give you some insight into that. I'm trying. One of the things they used to say about Will was that at the beginning of his career, he was very passive in his business. Benny Medina handled all his business. They People basically said, stand here, smile here, do this. Yeah. So Will was supposedly a very passive individual. When he got with Jada, she asserted herself very aggressively into yeah, his business. She had renegotiated it. Niggas, Tupac, but no, but, but, but I'm saying though, but I'm just saying beyond the sexual. I'm saying beyond the exe- beyond this sexual aspect yeah. in his personal life, Jada supposedly gave him the spine to stand up for himself, demand what he was at, renegotiate that, turn down this role. Would negotiate more paper for him for this role, so Jada gave him the yeah she the gave wherewithal the to she stand. Gave it to but, and that, that took it away. but that's the thing. But and that is the moves in the '90s that made him transition all the way to become Will Smith. Exactly. Sometimes so beyond the, to make so beyond the sexual aspect, mm-hmm. in the business aspect, and in the life, Will was supposed to do even though he was a star. He kind of let shit happen to him. And Jada was out front like a pit bull. Uh-uh. No, you don't get at him like that. You don't talk to him like that. Oh, no, you pay him that. that. So thus, that, but I'm just saying, when people say, she where did Jada him protect him? Jada protected I, him and made him into yeah, real. Yeah, I, so I she understand played her that. Part. My now, sexually, she now, might have been loose, but on the personal no, place, now even, Will might be like, even though he fucked other women, he might still have an undying loyalty to her because she fought battles for him that he wouldn't fight for himself. So even if she do get out here and mm, embarrass him, he's still going to be yeah. like, this is my wife because this is the person who nah. fought for me and protected no me. Way. I, I, I'm no with way. you, but... Ain't no way. I, 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 okay, so can I... Y'all... Can I... Yeah. Go ahead. I'm anxious to hear you. Talk to it. No, because I want y'all to get all y'all shit out because... I'm, I, as, okay, I'm I don't think got fans in the comments. I don't think, years. I don't think I got fans too. in the comments. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm been, I've been, I've been okay. pinging and saying shit. So I, I've, I've done two posts about this whole shit. One, and um, let me, I'm okay. I'm, 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 I'm gonna end this shit with this. So, uh, thought process, looking at the whole shit. Yes, yeah, embarrassment to the melanated culture with us, who we are, off top. Fake, scripted, not fake, the overshadow of everything involved as a, as a melanated, because I'm not black. You motherfuckers that call yourself black, know your nationality. You'll get this shit at three in the morning. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hopefully. So I'm just gonna speak on I'm gonna speak on just the overarching shit that everybody didn't see behind this distraction first before I go 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 in on all three of these motherfuckers because it's really fuck Chris Rock, fuck Will Smith, and fuck Jada. Just keeping it a buck with you. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna go in on all y'all respectfully. Respectfully, no, go ahead. But one. Just looking at the plight of the melanated person in the histories, the annual annuals of history in Hollyweird, just like a lot of people don't know, one, are the Oscars named after a black man who paid for his own freedom who had a movie back in the day? This is some shit you go research it for yourself. Why do they call it the Oscars? There was a black man who was next...
Connect it. I'm connecting back. Boom. Here we go. Wait. Okay. Here we go. Hey. Okay. We back up. Tisha, can you hear me now? What I would say is, I'm. Hey, sis. What's up? Good to see you. Can y'all hear us now? All praises do, sis. I'm finna give a ism. You wanna come sit and um Can you see me? I'm nude under my shirt. Oh, you got the little one? Bye. Okay, so I've been working out. Here we go. We back. No, we back up. So <laughs> now she can hear us. Okay, Ben, y'all can hear me now. Perfect. Okay, so I'ma give y'all I'ma I'm gonna I'm I'm speak on some shit. On some oh pardon me, we got a little young one here. A young king in the making. I'm I'm gonna speak on something. So from from first off, like I said, I'm gonna take this from the historical standpoint of us as I'll, I'll, for for the sake Sorry, of stop. not trying to enlighten y'all too much, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the term black. <laughs> from 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 the black standpoint, one, this is the first time that a black, uh, you see my air quotes, uh, <laughs> produced the Oscars. And I respect right. that. God bless that bitch so, us. I'm, I'm going to speak on everything that was historically overshadowed by this bullshit before I get into the trifecta of this and bullshit. Shout out to Quest Love and them who won the I, I don't want to think of Can I? Okay. Let me, let me, let me. Go ahead on the cook, I, brother. I, 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 let, I sat here and let y'all all go, go ahead in. Go Because you already know. I'm finna go there. I'm finna give y'all some isms on some real shit. Because... And I'm finna call the industry out on what it. And if I get banned or whatever, do oh well, fuck it. That, hey, I, I got. I, hey, I got seven figures and I make a hundred thousand a year, and I'm not tripping. Period. So, but here's the thing. One, like I said, it's the first time you had a melanated person produce the Oscars. The producer is in charge of everything. Salute. So, so you have Will Packard. Shout out so to Will you Packard. have shout out to Will Packard. I don't know the man's history or nothing and all that because I'm not into all the Hollywood antics of what they do because it's a weird society to me and they do some shit that I don't agree with spiritually, mentally, as a man. I'm just saying. So, once again, I'm just bringing surface shit. The first time in the Oscars history, you have a melanated man being the producer of the show. Mm -hmm. You have this bullshit That's big overshadow too. everything. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. They wanted us to act. Hey, man, exactly. <laughs> so then, Stabbed you me. have, you have. So I'm gonna go here from there. That that's the biggest thing, oh. because hey, I give you niggas the reins. Don't go too far. I give you niggas the reins, and this is what the fuck you do. Right. You turn this shit into WWE. Right, it's monkeys at the at the circus. Thank you. Yeah. That's my biggest shit. Second off, which when you look at it, cause and this is this is something that people don't think, and you're gonna get this one here. At three in the morning, or right uh, now? no, you're gonna get this right now. <laughs> right, motherfucker. The, the, when you look at the Grammys, the first <laughs> Grammy that was given to hip hop was given to who? Will Smith. Will Smith. It wasn't televised. Parents just don't understand. I'm deep. Once again, I, I my position is not from some ignorant Preach. nigga standpoint. I really into this shit on some, yeah. Look at the symbolism of what's going on. Mm -hmm. The first Grammy Award, and who did they just ban from the Grammys? Kanye. That's some other shit. That's another conversation. Yeah, but I'm back to this. Talk to us. But, so... Samuel Jackson, stellar actor, along with Will Smith when it comes to acting, has, who have had a stellar career. Mm -hmm. Both of these men, one who's been, had his balls cut off by his chick. Right. I ain't gonna call her a bitch. Cup. Mm. She's giving me bitch vibes, though. I'm, well, hold I'm, on, who? I'm trying to be, yeah. I'm trying to be semi-respectable. Mm -hmm. mm. Instead of going full dubs, I'm trying to keep it. I'm. I'm. I'm really trying. Knowledge is power. You giving us knowledge right here. I'm, I'm I am. People so, so yeah, once speak. again, two deserving black men. Once again, uh, on on the stage that Holly Weird. This is their night. Mm -hmm. Once again, you got to take this shit into context. This is their night. This is not 
our night. This is their night. And they actually gave two well-accomplished melanated actors their roses. Excuse me, not roses. They gave you thistle, right. dandelions. Daisies. And most people think dandelions are weeds, but if you really studied and knew what the fuck going on, dandelions is a promotion of health, and you'll get that at 3 in the morning. That's another conversation. But once again... This fake ass slap has overshadowed the accomplishments of my brother Quest Love, who also won a Grammy. Not to cut you off, but do you mean fake slap? That you mean it was fake, or it really happened, but it was fake the way he handled it? Oh, if here's the go ahead, but here's the thing, because like I said, I'm gonna end it with this, because I didn't want to touch in on this shit. I didn't, because I'm over it and it's a bunch of bullshit. But I don't mind telling y'all the shit that a lot of people don't think about. It's it's bullshit because that's all everybody was talking about. I was over the shit Sunday. Right. Me too. But when, I'm, I'm going to tell First you what happened. All, I wasn't even watching the Grammys until I seen it. I don't Me watch too. the, the yeah. Oscars. I don't watch I mean, the Grammys Oscars, or the yeah. Oscars. Really? I'm like, get a boys, Willie D. Fuck Oscar and me and Tony. Why do I need to subjugate myself to your ridicule for some award that as long as I'm good with myself and if my people that happen to recognize my talent be like, hey, I appreciate what you do and what you're doing, mm-hmm. that works for me. Mm-hmm. Right. But still, I don't have to get... As an industry person, you do kind of be alert. I, I, don't get me wrong, on. because that's the same thing with social media. You become a slave to the rhythm. Oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's what, that's, that's what these niggas do they become a slave to the rhythm Mm -hmm. so those were the three things friends saying the overarching because every nobody gives a fuck about nobody who won anything with these oscars because everybody talks about the slap fuck the slap you 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 motherfuckers fell for the monkey banana in the tailpipe once again because here's another thing here's part two chris rock's tickets to his comedy tour all the way went up. from <laughs> went from minimal to ginormous. Maximum. Yesterday's price is not today's, today's price. price. <laughs> Shout out to Fat Joe. Max. Oh, okay. Okay. because you, since you, I signed a deal with NBC Universal, but listen, my price went up too. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I I respect that on one end, but all I'm saying is, this is once again niggas, and that's not race defining when I say niggas. It's low thinking vibrational people. Mm-hmm. You, you've fallen into the trap of entertainment because the Romans have once again built the Colosseum and put the gladiators in front of you and regardless of or being able to pay attention to the real shit that's going on you're paying attention to some bullshit right but not to cut you off because I know you didn't want to be disrupted but would that be the same way as Chris Rock disrespecting his fellow brother and his fellow brother Rock I'm wife? finna get as a comedian I'm, I, I'm finna I'm finna touch on all that okay sorry go ahead no no you good no I, I, I'm i good because what it does I, I I I love the your input because it keeps me on point because I'm finna touch on all of it okay touch it so we fall back did he <laughs> here's the thing we niggas, and this point when I say niggas, I'm talking about us melanated people. This fake outrage, this lost image of shit. And here's the, uh, and I want to say this first before I even go there. I will never tell a man not to defend his wife. Okay. okay. So once again, I really didn't want to go there with this tonight, but we brought it, and I'm gonna go there. I'm just ending. I'm with excited it. that you're speaking on it. Go ahead. I, I didn't Praise. want to because I'm I, I I don't like to buy into and pay attention right. and give too much attention to this bullshit. But it's what's going on. So you know you're speaking on. There's the, so uh, much other shit going on. It is, but for Which the world, I was like, going. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna give myself enough time to go into what's really going on because mm-hmm. I want to dead this shit. Right. But I agree with Crystal. We we got we got us. Because my timeline, everybody, oh, that's the symbolism of black love and the ooh. Like, man, oh, no. there's so many layers to this shit that we don't <laughs> deal with, we don't know about. Oh, that's off top. That's I, and their relationship, what they do, that's their business. You know, for one, I don't give a fuck. And I was one just like, like the nigga didn't slap August. That's right. And, and I'm, I'm trying August to keep this respectful. Road. And once again, 
I'm tr- I'm, I'm going to keep this shit respectful because I can do the Corey Holcomb. Right. Shout out mm-hmm. to my nigga Corey Holcomb because mm-hmm. he kept it a buck. Mm-hmm. And I res- and that's Corey what it is. Is fuck. Mm-hmm. Nah, mm-hmm. Corey calls mm-hmm. shit what it is. Mm-hmm. And, and, I, and I'm with him with the shit. Call the shit what it is. So what the did, problem. What did Corey say? I'm not going to go there. Okay, we ain't going to go there. Because I'm trying to keep it mm-hmm. respectful. Okay, let's keep it respectful. I'm trying to keep it respectful, not because I respect mm-hmm. any of the parties, mm-hmm. because fuck y'all. Mm-hmm. And I'm speaking of. The husband, the wife, and the third motherfucker who got slapped. Exactly. Fuck y'all. That's how I feel. Fuck y'all. I'm just trying to not t- make uh, extend the trashness of right. the situation. I really want to have a just a hey, just say some shit and you feel it. If you don't feel it, that's fine. Right. Mm-hmm. She emasculated, dude. Mm. They situation, whatever. Sign an NDA, whatever you do. I'm I'm gonna defend him, will in a sense, but at the same time, I'm just I'm highly disappointed in everybody in this shit. Mm-hmm. Highly. Mm-hmm. Her, him, and him. Again. Because you all play parts of some bullshit, and I don't think the shit was acts all totally real. Because like I was saying before. Chris Rock's ticket prices all, all of a sudden skyrocket. And that's because everybody wants to see a train wreck. And this is this is the totality of the society we live in. At the same time, I seen some shit. Will and Jada gonna talk about the shit at the red table. Ain't the fucking red table where you motherfuckers was it's the messy Stop. Table. Yeah, it's just yeah. messy ain't mess. The, ain't the messy but, drama started? But we we, and I'm using we, I'm not going to disinclude myself from it because I'm us. If I, if I, knowing what I know, if I disinclude myself from this us, when I say we, that makes me think I'm higher than, and no more than us. I don't think I'm higher than anybody. So I don't want to come from a cocky sense of what I'm saying. I'm really pleading to y'all like, what the fuck? Yo, Kenneth. Yeah. This is bullshit. Mm-hmm. You know, it is. We've 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 we we continue to put ourselves to be the laughing stalk of shit, but we always expect Massa to give us a fair shake. Right. But we continue to put ourselves in the buffoonery circle. But wouldn't that be what I was saying about we demand respect, but we don't respect each other? Right. Because yeah. at the same time, Chris Rock, so now ourselves. I got, I, I, I kept it respectful, Will Smith. I didn't get on you and your wife and y'all situation. I really got some more choice words, but I'm really trying not to, because my argument ain't about that. It's exactly. about the can, bigger picture. Yeah, I feel it. Mm-hmm. Chris Rock, same thing. The video with you and C.K. Lewis and them and. Oh, he lost stripes. Oh, yeah, definitely. So here's the thing. The slap, initially, I was like, this is some bullshit. Because you do all good news. All news is good news in entertainment. Yeah. And us as, as low-bearing fruit society, we tend to lose thought of that. Mm-hmm. And we click on and, oh, yeah, see? Woo, woo, woo. I agree. Right. I seen the, the reverse angle video when he got slapped and Jada was laughing and Will Smith probably going through some shit. And once I said I'm, I'm disappointed, but the mental health aspect of it, when you looking at bullying, I get it. We all joke. We all, and I did a post. I said, and I'm gonna be a buck. I, I did. I did two posts. One, I said, stop falling for the banana in the tailpipe shit. This was some bullshit. My second post, when I did my humorous side, just like you know, something. This is funny. Fuck it. I said she probably fucked him like she would fuck August. Mm. Mm. But that was just for shits and giggles. And I could be wrong for it, but actually, I don't give a fuck. But now but you're speaking your truth. so I'm being honest. Validates from what you're saying yeah. now. So, yeah. I, I did two posts about it, mm-hmm. and I was over it Sunday. Because I was like, this is some bullshit. Because I thought about the deeper aspect of the shit. They didn't televise Samuel Jackson winning his shit, and he's done over right. 150 movies. And that was crazy. Mm-hmm. And everybody else with the, like I said, sisters, I love y'all to the end of the death, and I'll probably die defending the melanated woman because that's what we're supposed to do. Mm-hmm. But y'all got to stop putting goals on bullshit. Right. 
Yep. And we're going to end this shit because I got other shit I want to do. Mm-hmm. And we've I'm been here for a chicken. minute. I got to go oh, become I'm a bad bitch in like oh. an hour. All right. You going out tonight? Tell everybody where they can find you at. You can always find me at Instagram at Crystal with an H, literally C H R Y S T A L W I T H A H. Literally. And the H is for high. Also, <laughs> hot mama. Right. Big H, I'm saying. Big, big H also, insane. you can <laughs> tune into our podcast, Sex in Oakland. Me and my other lovely, three beautiful, very well spoken, high opinionated women. Every Tuesday at seven thirty. Oh, I gotta check y'all out. Yes, yeah, yeah. We gotta even get on the show. We gonna have y'all on the show. I'm, I'm oh, coming. Definitely. I'm gonna be I'm thinking coming. of something spicy for show for y'all. Let me know. Something that's gonna get y'all like, is it hot in here? It's getting hot in here. Hot. So Woo. take off all your clothes. Yeah, Don't, though, yeah. but yeah. They yeah might, no, I mean, uh, uh, they comfortable uh, with their well, sexuality, as uh, uh, Izzy would say. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yes, yes. That's her go-to line. Right. Uh-huh. You don't want dick, Dre. You don't want things shoved up your ass. You must be insecure with your sexuality. <laughs> oh, me? If I mean, you know, this has been more than a pleasure. I love an interesting, intense conversation, and it's been so great. I love to hear different people outlook. I love to talk, so that's what I do. So, therefore, check me out, J Songbird. That's J S O N G B I R D. One, you backed up. Do I need some gum? No, <laughs> no, no. I was finished doing my way onto your line. Or, you know? Okay. Or, you know what? Check me out and buy some plates for me because I sell food. I'll be whooping it up. I'm a certified chef at Chef C H E. But I keep asking her to make some gumbo without the seafood. Bro, can okay. you let her finish? Uh, what? So no. In this shit. And, got... But it's funny because I, I got some real stuff cooking up where anything you don't want in gumbo, let me know and be ahead of time and I got you. But it's Chef Johnetta Bird, that's C-H-E-F underscore J-O-H-N-N-E-T-T-A-B-I-R-D. Check me out. Yeah. And as hey. always, my co-host. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Pharaoh, a.k.a. Pharaoh the Most. Come on. And we will be uh, where? Uh, we here every Friday at every 6. Friday. Come on. Uh, you know, we got a couple movies in production right now starring my main man. Some big stuff. I mean, that shit. And Bird, who's hey. also, besides being an actress, one of my favorite artists, go to her Come page and check there. out some of her music and oh, stuff ditto. like I that. Trust me when I tell you, but you can find me at Feral Films across the board. That's literally Feral Films at TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, tic- all that good shit. Yeah, get me on TikTok. You don't have too. TikTok? Nah, I don't do that. I, shit. I got one. I'll never be on it, though. Never I just posted me a little fire. I watch video a lot of people on it. Like, I, like I Am Miss Perfect, which is one of our one, one of our comrades. Do you watch TikTok or watch it, or do you watch it on Instagram? Um, I so watch it on we? TikTok. Okay. Her content mm-hmm. is different on TikTok. Okay. Shout out to everybody with the Wear Media Meets family, as yeah, always. I'm your host, Mr. Keep It Cloudy. Uh, Deshaun, you can find me on Instagram at Cognac underscore Confessionals. Follow us on YouTube, also Cognac Confessionals page. You follow me here. If you know me personal, you can get my personal page, but you got to know me personal to get that. Um, always, and for you dudes that, uh, also you can find me in your chick's dreams as Ooh, a dude that, uh, okay. I, I am that dude at getitdone.com. Uh, no, nah, I'm just joking. I'm I'm really just joking. I just like to talk shit before I end this shit. Talk out. that. Talk it. Say I'm, that. I'm humbly cocky, but yeah, cocky. And his nickname is, is On My Way. And you guess what the rest? I mean, yeah. You guess the rest of it On My <laughs> Way. Hey, no, nah, yeah, we just joking. I'm retired, man. I, hey, y'all can have that, man. But I can I can write a book about it. Actually, I will. But it change won't be the like the best man change, shit. To protect the innocent. But hey, for, we'll for real talk, book. I appreciate everybody tuning in as always, man. You know, you could be anywhere I'm in the world. I'll have my book because I found out fucking over 200 women is <laughs> it's not it's not socially acceptable. Sad's life. Hey, right, right Champagne. I'm it a Sagittarius. You better know about it. But nah, seriously, you know. I humbly uh, appreciate everybody tuning in. Thank you all for tuning in. You're we you gonna have part having. three with all four. Of you. you already know we gonna we gonna we gonna make it you happen. We gonna get it one day. I'm, gonna we gonna, gonna make it happen because I'm consistent. We've been you trying to get saying? bird back. Hey, you want to know how you ring the bell? You ring the bell. Consistency. I run. I run the bell and I didn't get in. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, I had to break through the doors. I, I'm, I was speaking metaphorically. Oh, okay. Right. You know like, they didn't I was let in. Uh, oh, you was let in. Oh, okay, don't play with me. Right. Hey, but no, nah, actually, like I said. <laughs> hey, Keisha, Keisha, thank you for tuning in, Steve, oh, okay. Brother waiting. Champagne, uh, Izzy, 
everybody that was here tune in i really appreciate y'all i mean you know what i'm saying it's all love and light as always and uh now it's time to say goodbye to all, all my, my negro, negro friends. friends hey i'll catch y'all on the next